Welcome to a uh, Tuesday edition of Live on Patrol. And yes, I'm here. He's here. He doesn't sound perfect, but he's had two negative COVID tests. And uh, this, the test came back. They got a three-digit, um, sorry about that. They got a three-digit code on the test. I saw it, and it either comes back COVID, C-O-V, <coughs> or... Uh, our uh, his code came back O L D. I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wise guy. Yeah, there you go. They tested him his DNA to see if he was, you know, O L D confirmed. So anyhow, we are uh, southbound on Highway 61. Um, we got a lot to talk about tonight. I hope everybody made the jump over to uh, the Live on Patrol page. Just a little bit concerned that some people may not have, but we're just going to watch the numbers here for a little bit, make sure everyone made the jump. Um, if not, we could share it on my page, but I think most people were aware that the, the original broadcast was moving here, and it's I think it's more fun to have everybody trans everybody uh, commenting on the same page rather than a couple different pages. So we're gonna we're gonna try to see how that works. So uh, obviously, there's been a lot of news about crime in the paper, and um, first I'm gonna let Pat kind of cover some of the things that happened this week. And then I got to talk a little bit about the quadruple murder um, from uh, kids from my call them kids, but young young adults from St. Paul. It's horrible. And uh, really uh, nice nice kids. According to you know, the Rev, knows some of them. I talked to the Rev today. Nice families, and uh, 
I mean, obviously we don't know what on earth led to this quadruple murder, but... I have, I have a lot of friends in common with the, 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 with the murder victims. I and these are, these are by all appearances, very, very good people. And we got, uh, I saw a text from uh, Tyler Scott, I think, on Facebook. I think that's his name. That's related to them. And, and uh, our prayers go out to the family. Um, Absolutely. And Tyler yeah, apparently lost, had a relative that was a two-year-old yeah, that was shot, too, recently. Oh, Jesus. So, Jiminy. Yeah, it's not not good at all. No, it's not. Call back but uh, unfortunately, Bob, I'm, I am a little bit out of the loop because of having okay. been sick. And by the way, uh, I actually do have a medical diagnosis for what I have besides OLD. I have allergic rhinitis. Uh, the doctor told me. That Is it contagious? Not at all. Okay. Good. <laughs> uh, we are having the worst allergy season in this country since 1918. Well, so, how, how was it that year for you? One nine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you can stop now. <laughs> um, but uh, very, uh, very notably, this uh, new auto theft initiative and uh, officers assigned to it that we've got going made two very good auto thefts today, arrests today. One uh, just, uh, it was either outside or just out, outside of downtown. And uh, they uh, were able to successfully box the vehicle in and uh, made an auto theft arrest and he had a quantity of cocaine on him as well. And then uh, tonight, uh, Alex and uh, rallied up some uh, investigators from the unit because he was uh, he was able to get BMW to track a stolen BMW that had been uh, seen a number of times today in St. Paul. And what time did they end up getting it? Uh, Little Canada, up, uh, <coughs> up Eli Road, they were able to, uh, because, because the vehicle was capable of being tracked, they were able to sneak up on it and block it in. Nice. You know? Nice. And, uh... Anytime we're able to prevent a chase from occurring is the ideal scenario. Yeah. And yeah, for any car, the newer there cars. There's a total of eight people in the bar. Staff said there's no issues. You can show this. The trackability is huge. Six, two, six. Correction, 622 two, and 279, depending on. So, um, I do want to, we're over on Arcade here, I, did, I do want to take a minute, though, just to uh, refer you. Well, first of all. Any squads on 7th, the uh, male took the knife from the female and put it outside. <coughs> this is Call on 7th Street with the knife there in the background. We were going to head to that, but it sounds like he got the knife away. And the call started with the male calling, saying the female um, refusing to leave. 4423 Tango. We haven't had um, We haven't had four people killed in one shooting in a long time. And it's likely to turn out that those people were shot in the city of St. Paul. That wouldn't surprise me at all. We do know this and both from the news media and from talking to uh, relatives. This is not not confidential information that they were all down at the Shamrock on West 7th Street last really? two nights, and we, the night that it happened. They are at the Shamrock, and actually one or two of them actually worked there at the Shamrock. Mm. And it looks like some of them went to the White Squirrel, which is another uh, restaurant lounge right right, yeah. right near there. So Yeah, it's a newer place with a great music venue. Yeah, so they were at the Shamrock, and some of them were at the White Squirrel. Well, I think we... Uh... And then uh, <coughs> we know the car registration re registers to uh, registers to a St. Paul family. Now there is there are a lot of rumors floating around the community about retaliation. It's too early to say that. And actually, um, I Pat, I don't know if you saw it, but. 
but uh, there's a pickup issued. 9171. I did not. So we were obviously did. not going to discuss who's, who they're looking for, but I'm just going to hand it to you so you can see. So um, they got good leads. I mean, the Dunn County investigators are doing an excellent job. They're working with the St. Paul police investigators who have a lot of knowledge of some of these. Yeah, Parkway Drive for an near the road. But as you knew in the Dunn County thing, Dunn County uh, press conference, press release yesterday, that Dunn County knew that there was a second SUV with that car. As soon, as soon, you know, as soon as I saw that, you know, the the cop mind gets gets spinning. And... So it's the second SUV obviously followed the car with the dead parties and the driver, and the driver got in the second SUV and headed back to the Twin Cities. So, and I will tell you that the Saint, the uh, amazing St. Paul police officers were able to locate that second SUV. Outstanding. It's about, about all I can say about that matter. But so I would say this: arrest imminent. Yeah. How about you? Yeah. Arrest imminent. But uh, that's, that's not. That's gonna, about as evil as you get. That's not going to ease the pain of these families for um, what they're going through. Follow up that you have got here out in the suspicious 731 Simon Avenue, 2051. Can you stop for a minute? Yeah, please. <laughs> so, we've uh, once again got too many phones going on yeah, here. We got a lot of phones. We're the, we could be like a phone, a moving phone. Um, anyhow, in the Pioneer Press, you're going to see that, and I'm telling you this so you can think and pray for their families. The victims were identified as Matthew Pettus, P-E-T-T-U-S, 26 years old, Lois Foreman III, 35 years old, Jasmine Sturm, S-T-U-R-M, 30 years old, and Natisha Presley, 30, of Stillwater. So the first three were from St. Paul, and Natisha actually lives in, in Stillwater. Did I hide a phone on you? And I know uh, it was in here, right? I, I know a number of Letitia's family. Yes, it was. Yeah. I know a number of Letitia's family, and uh, as tragic as it gets. Uh -oh. well, just have to do with all that. Is it in here somewhere, though. You had it earlier. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, when we find out all the details, it's not going to make it any easier. And a lot of the, uh, a lot of the speculation going on on Facebook, folks, is can be very, very hurtful to the families. Yeah. And really, none of you have any idea. I don't have any idea. Bob doesn't have any idea what's behind this. So really, stop speculating and let the investigation take its course. Yeah. I think that's a wise one. Of the, if, if, if we thought there was a known motive, you know, we might not hesitate. Either. But we don't. We, and, we, and we know a fair amount, so... Really these, are, what, these are good young people. E evil is uh, evil is hard to predict. You know, there's been so many serial killers or just evil people that it's hard to predict. And um, people just cannot control their their emotions, and it's. Results and yeah, there, there there is no reason for this could that could in any way, shape, or form justify this and make it any less evil.
which is one of the reasons that I want to help our young people avoid this path. When I say the path, the path of the shooter. Because they, 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 they went wrong. Yeah. It, it, and most you, likely a very early age. And we're going to find out that the shooter has some previous history. Oh, I mean. Time and time again, there's previous history. So, um, you saw, if you watched, if you haven't watched on my personal page, maybe it's on the Live and Patrol page, an interview that I did with Jay Coles regarding the need for some secure detention for 30, 30 juveniles here in the East Metro. Please watch that video. It sums up my concern about what we need, but we're going to, at the Sheriff's Office, we're going to dig in deep to the whole issue of juvenile crime. I spent four solid years just investigating juvenile crime when I was at St. Paul, working with a lot of organizations, including Totem Town, seeing success story after success story out of places where kids could re- direct their life, get a little time out. And, uh, my old partner, Joe Flaherty's dad, was a teacher there for years. And, and had, had dozens and dozens of success stories from short-circuiting a bad path kids were on. Well, thanks for mentioning that. I, I've gotten many uh, text messages, Facebook messages, I hope if you have a success story from Boys Totem Town or any other home, Hennepin County Boys Home or whatever, send me an email outlining that success story. It's, you know, my email is bob.fletcher at co, which stands for Fort County, dot ramsey dot mn dot us. Bob.fletcher, the rest you'll figure out, that's at co dot ramsey dot min dot us. I, I, I love hearing about those stories about how people were saved. I, I know a lot of young men myself that I used to uh, chase in stolen cars. Right. You guys out there listen to me because I know you do. You know who you are. But you're 55 years old now. <laughs> and um, I'm proud of you, the lives that you uh, chose afterward. You know, no, nobody's nobody is talking about petty offenders being put in a semi-secure setting like this. Repeat felons. Repeat felons. And for anyone, it, it really baffles me, for anyone to think out of the tens of thousands of juveniles we have in the metro that there aren't 30 to 50 that have gotten so violent and so dangerous that they need to be off the street yeah. is naive beyond belief to me. I was thinking about those, that, that percentage because there's 500 plus thousand people in Ramsey County. <coughs> I mean, probably what, 200,000 are kids? That's, so we're talking about 30 to 50 out of 200,000. And it's, 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 a, it's a measurably small number, but it's a resource that can help them divert from a life of violence. Exactly. So, hey, if you haven't shared this uh, video yet, uh, please do. Um, we're going to have some constructive conversations about crime here in about a half hour. Uh, I've, been, I've started inviting candidates to come on. I got a hold of three of them. I'm going to reach out to the rest of them to share for 10 minutes their, their view about public safety. So tonight we're going to invite uh, Mickey Frost to talk about his view about public safety. He's a candidate for mayor. This is not going to be a political forum for any one candidate. We're not going to talk about anything but public safety. But these issues are important enough that we need to have a good, robust discussion. And uh, we're going to invite each of the eight candidates um, on at some point here in the next eight weeks. That'll be great. Mickey's always interesting to listen to. I had the pleasure of watching him work as a community service officer out at the state fair. Did an amazing job, you know, with kids. Very much so.
Alright. So. And what else do we got crime wise there, Pat? I'm, uh, unfortunately. Yeah, you keep saying that because you <laughs> pretended you were sick. You only had allergic <coughs> rhino, 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 Yeah, it's got a muffled. It's got a little muffled sound to it. Four, four, seven, eight. Yeah, I mean, it's a kind of one. Oh, that's four, better. Four, seven, eight. All right, let's pick our channels there, my friend. I am on one. Or two. North, north, two. Three, 12, 12, 12. I'll, I'll put this on three for right now, even though we're not quite on. Okay. Son with history liver disease. Max, we're just out and requesting police due to just being out there. So, also the uh, I know the video, the video of my interview with Jay, Jay Coles is on on my page and on this page. But also the Pioneer Press wrote a story about it. Eight eleven striker and a motor vehicle theft that just occurred in black with silver and metal stripes on a Ford F one fifty XLP nineteen ninety five. Minnesota license. Fox shot with Diego 765. Fox start with Diego 765. Have a good night. Silverado. Silverado or F 150? F 150. You're the car guy. <laughs> What was I saying? <coughs> two seven nine, you can cancel two six nine. Two six nine. I don't know. Hey, what happened over Minneapolis? Is that? Oh me? my goodness! I Is just that... I just saw that video. It's about an hour ago at 49th and 94. It's unclear to me whether a car crashes onto the freeway from 49th. Okay. And it said they were given CPR to a shooting victim in a car. Oh, they got it's, it's unclear to me whether that is the person who got shot who was in that car or whether that was the car with the shooters in it. It was a little bit unclear. But uh, if you go to the uh, MN Crime Watchers page... Uh, you can uh, uh, see the video. It's oh, okay. dramatic beyond belief. Yeah, I'd like to see that. I haven't heard about it. I didn't see it. And uh, that story this weekend about Minneapolis. Oh, uh, it was the person in the car who got shot. Okay. So that was the victim crashing onto the freeway. Jesus. Holy Four smokes. Minutes. By the way, Joe is still not feeling good. I heard that. But he, his second Train test, two, three, second three, COVID four. test came back negative too. Ah. Four. Uh, he does, I, I was, was talking to him because I had similar symptoms, so we were staying in touch with each other. Yeah. And uh, he does have pretty bad allergies like I do, so I've got a feeling he's got the same thing I do, only more severe. Well, it could be. Could be that he's just got that young person disease. <laughs> like called slacker. <laughs> hey, do you have an extra one of those discs? Yeah. I do one down right in here. Oh, wonderful. Ah. Oh, I mean the... Uh, for the phone, the magnet. Phone for the magnet. Can I take this one out? Yeah. You didn't want a frisbee? <laughs> we'll save that as a surprise. Yeah.
So we are westbound on Maryland. I think the picture is okay, right? It looks yeah. decent. It sure does. So if you're out and about, we're looking for the Ford X-150 just stole off the west side. Probably won't stay over there. Foxtrot Whiskey Echo 765. It's black with silver stripes. It ought to stick out pretty well. Where's it stuck in there? It's oh, always, where is it? Oh, and we got different cases. Oh, all you need is the metal, right? Yeah. Right. Can I get my case number? Oh, come on. Your case That's number is seven. Stuck, but not it's oh, Thank you. Here. This is all I need. I That's what friends are for. This, this is, is all. It's a bigger one. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, the cop that I'm talking to right now doesn't want to be checked. Can you check with uh, 376? No. If Joel yeah, could be here, he would be here. Yes, he would. But if he could be here, if there's any way, like shape, or form, he could drag himself out of his sick bed. He would be here. In fact, he's helping us by sending us informative texts. Yes, he is. What's he's the always on the what's job. The what's the last informative text he sent us? Three seven five. Just read that one, will you? <laughs> <laughs> for Slacker, my <laughs> rear end, to put it politely. With a picture of his thermometer. <laughs> Well, Joe, I hope you get better. I, I miss seeing you down in the office. On my first day, I made it in in a few days. Yeah. Okay, I'll move this to two. All right. So... I do want to point out one thing, how this is the thing about numbers. 24, 25 years. 99.9% of kids are good kids, would never, you know, get involved with a fight or guns or whatever. And then it's just that small percentage that cause so much problem. You know, yesterday there was a, there was a fight over at um, Central High School. You probably heard about it, but yep. And uh, last Friday there was a fight at the uh, football game. Now, Pat and I, of course, believe that they should have continued to have school resource officers there in the schools in St. Paul. And last year there was COVID, so there really wasn't much school. But we think that decision is going to end up. They end up hurting someone by not having school resources. Well, that's at the, I mean, it was the first football game of the season and just outside the entrance to the football stadium, there were two young men stabbed and one beaten unconscious. Yeah. And I mean, they, they don't even apparently want police officers at the events well, at the, the schools. And we gotta be careful who the they is because it's a uh, small number. I mean, I think it's a couple school board members. I but um, the people decide. Three, I should yeah, say, yeah, the yeah. people making the decision. I apologize. Um, the female counselor. But I, I, here's what I was thinking. I sat over there today when school got out around three o'clock. There's hundreds of great kids coming out of the school. Oh yeah, home. it's a great school. Great, uh, hundreds of hundreds of great kids coming out. But all it takes is a couple bullies. Really to start picking on someone yeah. to cause a conflict. And there was another conflict today. And I gotta say, the teachers, 
turn that down just a hair. The teachers and security guards over at Central did an amazing job. Actually, Tyrone Terrell and his group was over there as well. I saw an assistant principal out there. I mean, they they really Great did a part. nice job of monitoring. But okay. it's tough to stop. Are they cleared in on arrival? And what is it? Tough to stop a bully when you you know I don't yeah, know how many students they got there, but hundreds. You got one or two people that are picking on other people that leads to a fight. Absolutely. And I guess my point is, kids shouldn't have to put up with that. No. Right. And most of the kids don't want to put up with that. Right. They shouldn't have to. We ought to school grounds ought to be a safe place where kids can count on being safe and not getting picked on. You yep. know, I followed that real closely when the decision was being made to remove the SROs. And uh, they actually pulled the students and the principals and the teachers. And as I recall, 100% of the middle school and high school principals did not want the SROs out of the school. 80% of the uh, students and teachers did not want the SROs out of the schools. Well, that's a great point. It's a great point. A lot of great relationships were built between staff and students and police when SROs were there. So one thing we do want to remind everybody about is just the decorum we expect on these live broadcasts. Um, we just, you got to be respectful and kind in your comments. <coughs> and if, if, if someone disagrees with you, that's fine. You know, voice your disagreement and then drop it. It's, you know, continual badgering back and forth just can't it isn't part of what we're doing here it's make your point make your point and move on we we're, we're trying to show people what law enforcement officers are seeing on the street and how they do how they work and how they're just trying to help people um but you know we we can engage in conversation but we don't want to we don't want to engage in bickering and uh, let's look at the positive side of humans. Yeah. We, case in point, we are perfectly fine if some of you completely disagree with what we just said. But express your disagreement in a respectful way. That's all we ask. Be respectful. Be kind. How's it going? How's it going? You're on adult male LEC. Five three five. Five three five. We'll also be in route till I see the mail. Copy twenty one twelve. Twenty one twelve. Five minutes ago. You're on three now, right? I'm on one. Oh, I want to switch just to one. New message. So for those of you football fans, by the way, you know the Rev Spence is a big Pittsburgh fan. Having been born there, as was I. So he, he, his team had a good day yesterday. I was watching that game and then, of course, the late night game, Monday night, Oakland and uh, the Ravens. That Lamar Jackson is an amazing athlete, that quarterback of the Ravens. I mean, they lost the game. Roll through on it. But, but that was a great football game. That was uh, that was really a fun game. I'll be clear the Hazelwood back to my off city. Into overtime, like the Viking game. Uh, I, I 
have to admit. I wish every they should just play about five overtime games in one day rather than one whole game. You know, then you can get the excitement of the overtime five times. <laughs> Bravo 827 at 2114. So, let me just see here. It's almost like it slows down when we come on the street. When you would listen to the radio for a while, all that stuff was going on, and then bam. If you did not get a Facebook notification today, here is probably why. Uh, you need to go to the Live on Patrol Facebook page. It's, and it's, uh, it's got Bob's picture on it. And I think it says it's a public service. This is my son's picture, actually. <laughs> you hear somebody screaming or I not? sure did. Okay. Is that, is that, uh, I guess that's the screamer. I think that's the screamer. Okay. I thought someone was screaming if needing help. <coughs> hilarious. Hilarious. <laughs> no problem. Yeah, you were explaining how to Oh, do it. yeah. You go to the Live on Patrol Facebook page, and you need to like and follow that. Yeah, but there's a different way. You have to hold it over the like button. Remember that the new yeah, let me. He said uh, every phone was different, too. I'll go to it here. By the way, that's shooting on 94. Is the fourth or fifth in the last two or three months? It's been right on or near 94. Show some to copy. I five four fellows and an assault. Mail from the apartment 152 was arguing with the caller and her husband pulled a small gun out and threatened the caller with it. That's never good. No. Okay, so live on patrol, public service Facebook page. The uh, cover photo is a Ramsey County Sheriff squad. And then the small profile picture is of the sheriff. I think they can click on it from from my page. Or you, you shared it today too, right? So all I gotta I do is go to that post and click on that. Link. Right. So you what you do is after you like it, it'll say you're following. Then you put your thumb or finger on the following and release it. And it gives you the opportunity to uh, get notified. To get notified by different. I think you can choose to get notified just when a video is on versus a post. <laughs> right. There's an option for to uh, get notified of all live videos. But by the way, we're gonna we're gonna structure this so that the stuff that I post on my personal page is not going to be on the live page. So it'll just be strictly a video page. So you won't get extra, you won't get extra notifications. If that makes sense. It does. So thank you for all of you that were able to make the jump over to this format.
You know, one thing I was thinking as the kids were walking out of school today, and let's face it, some of them have activities they're in after school and places they can go, but there's a there are some kids that don't have a lot of options for after school activities. And of course, if they're like you and me, they're not rushing home to do their homework. Right? Right. <laughs> so, I mean, it would be nice if we had more constructive activities yep. kids could participate in. And that's one of the things I'd really like. Our volunteers, our backseaters, all 6,000 of them, at some point, we're gonna ask you if you wanna help us do some constructive work with kids, all ages, you know? Reading for elementary school kids, you know, sports for middle school, but some type of social activities for for the, for the high schoolers as well, you know? Um, and obviously kids like to hang out, hang out with their own age group, but there's ways to provide safe environments and that's the key for social activities that parents can trust I mean parents only want their kids to go where it's someplace safe so we are on Selby Avenue coming up on Lexington and right across the street there is the Truth Center, the 8 to 18 Truth Center, founded by Mickey Frost. A place for kids to come and be safe. We just need more of those and larger ones. Yes, we do. And uh, places kids can hang out. Bottom five, ten, twenty-two, and thirty-three. Fifty-one, eighty-two, and fifty-one, eighty-one. Fifty-one, eighty-two. Fifty-one, eighty-one. One, eight, one. One, eight, one. I will show you the rope. So hopefully your friends have watched the 9 o'clock news by now. Either the Fox version or the KSTV version that runs on channel 12 or whatever. I'm going to share this, share this so they know that uh, we're actually on on a Tuesday. Tuesday. I got to be honest, that whole weekend, the 9-11 weekend, is mentally exhausting. It really is. I, I um, every time that weekend comes up, I'm just emotionally worn out. It's a very, very emotional time. Well, you for keep me. posting all those pictures too, right? I, and I, I respect the fact that you post them, but they're they're it, gut wrenching. They're gut wrenching. That's the right word. It's like reliving the Jones and Ryan death, in, but in three thousand version. You know, it's just, it's just. My wife likes loves watching those videos too. You know, she she'll for the whole weekend she'll watch every story there is about 9/11. And our possible suspect is in 152. And I gotta be honest with you, I can't do it. That's just. Two six nine. Answer this. Uh, answer this plate in Foxtrot Tangle Charlie A five eight. Took me a couple days just to recover from the. Then recover from the memory of the death. One of the gut, most gut wrenching things is the uh, conversation Todd Beamer was having with. Oh, the, yeah. Why do you got to bring that up again? That's, that was just. Did you hear the story about his. 
Massachusetts. Daughter he had given up for adoption? No. Uh, some of these stories are just too, I'm getting goosebumps thinking about them. And um, I think it was Beamer, it could have been Burnett. The viewers would probably know, but. Um, and I believe it would be apartment number two. They had this special where the, a year afterward, these people came and told our stories inside a black box. Did you see that? The echoes echoes of 911. People that had never really talked about it and they just talked to a camera. There was nobody in there and just told their story. I did not. Oh my God. And, and you know, you can see the emotion on their faces as they're retelling their story from a year. That was Burnett, not Beamer. Yeah. Tom Burnett's, Tom Burnett had given up a daughter for adoption years before. And the daughter, um, actually, I think was from the Twin Cities here, Como area. And uh, parents had always told her when you get to be 19 or whatever, you, you can rehook up with your parents. And she was at school and she came home after 911 and said, I feel like one of my parents just died. She, was, she didn't know that that was her birth father. That was on at Flight 93. But those type of new stories that you hear, it just brings back, I don't know. So let's, on a happier note, uh, on a happier note. One second. Hey, this is kind of familiar. This feels familiar. You know how you feel if things are familiar? Let's see if anybody needs their car pushed. Like, I think it would hurt a little more. Like deja vu. I don't, it couldn't hurt anymore. That was some hard ice, man. Oh. Goodness. That was some hard ice. Hey, oh, by the way, some, that video, whoever made that video that includes you falling, well, it's like a three-step video, but it's got... <laughs> that was pretty professionally put together. Oh, that, that recent, I don't know if you've seen it, but I, is it on the backseater page? Yeah, it's on the Live on Patrol backseaters page. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So, I, uh, so, all right, we're going to give, uh, we're going to give Mickey Frost a call and, um, hear what he has to say. Sound good? Sounds real good. And this will be the first of our eight, eight candidates for mayor that will be invited to be on Live on Patrol. Share this if you haven't yet. Hey, how you doing, man? Good, Mickey Frost. How are you? Hey, Mickey. Hey, another day, another chance. Yeah. Oh, goes. There you go. There how you, you go. guys doing? We're doing great. We uh, appreciate all the work that you've done, and thank you for working at the fair. And uh, I read some of your posts. Obviously, I read all your posts about kids and you know what we got to do to rescue them so just wanted to give you a little a little voice time to tell people in the city of st paul so you know some of the where you're coming from it doesn't have to be anything brilliant just share with them your your perspective hey well thanks for having me on and uh tell pat i said hey i'm glad that he's feeling a lot better and he's back on here with you thank you Mickey. um yeah you know so you know, one of the things that I found out with working with these kids and, you know, being around them and watching them go through the tragedies and losing friends and loved ones is, you know, a lot of these kids just want to have somebody that they can relate to and somebody that they can talk to and, you know, feel like they're wanted. A lot of these kids don't feel like they're wanted at, at, at home, you know. Unfortunately, a lot of us as parents, you know, we get kind of tied up with forgetting about our kids and, and, and their needs and, you know, we get caught up with, you know, what excites us and, you know, what we want to do. And, and we forget about them. And a lot of these kids, they don't spend much time with their parents if they go to school and then they come home and the parents are, 
out doing, you know, whatever they feel they want to do for themselves. And just leaving these kids just unattended to. And when you're un unattended to as a kid, you kind of go out and you just find something that's going to take your mind off of being unattended to. And that's what's happening yeah. with a lot of these kids. Well, and tell us uh, what the solution is and, and some of the things you're working on. I know that when I was in the juvenile unit, it's funny you mentioned that because Wilder Foundation did a lot of research. And what they found was that what kids need is a responsible adult that they <coughs> perceive is concerned for their needs and values. And uh, many of them many of them didn't have that. Even if it was apparent, they didn't necessarily feel that. So tell us how we're gonna get, how we're gonna get out of the quandary that we're in. Well, it's definitely gonna take uh, some of these organizations, the, the boots on the ground organizations, or just some of the people that are really grounded in, in these communities that are suffering to not be scared of these kids, to, you know, to start getting involved. You know, one thing that I do is, you know, people ask me all the time, how can you go knowing that this, these two kids have guns and they want to shoot each other? How can you go stand in between them? Then? Well, it's because, you know, I, I believe in what I do and I believe that God has given me a higher purpose and that's to go save these kids' lives. So, you know, I just think that we need more, you know, parents or, or more, you know, grown-ups to just say, you know what, enough is enough. Let me go get involved. Let me go and, you know, and figure out, you know, that, hey, I can get in contact with this kid. And if you can get in contact with that kid and, you know, we see if we can get them to come and sit down and at least, you know, engage in a conversation. And, you know, we all under understand that sometimes, you know, it's just not going to work. You know, some of these kids, whether it's the music or the media and the different things that, you know, has their minds right now that, you know, sometimes they're they're not gonna, you know, uh, be receptive to, to to making that change right then and there. But at least it's it's a it's a try, and and that's what we have to do. We have to stop being scared of our own kids, you know, and start to you know stand up to to them, and and more or less just stand up because we are the parents, we are the adults, we know exactly what these kids are going through because we once went through it ourselves. As kids, I'm gonna you know, talk. So you, just, I'm gonna talk to you about that in a minute because knowing knowing you since you were 15, um, but I wanna I wanna go back to your comment about intervening with kids. I just hang on, Mick. I'm just here. We just heard a call and a shots fired. I want to make sure Pat looks it up. But I was amazed at the state fair how you and the other ambassadors, the community service officer ambassadors, jumped right in between these kids. Because uh, it it was it was noticeable how those kids reacted to you guys in a fashion better than they reacted to the deputies, and we're very thankful we had you there. But Dale I saw Thomas. where was it? Jalen Thomas. Jalen Thomas. Is, what is that? Anyhow, so you and Andre and others jumping in on some of these fights that we saw at the midway. So that was it was an amazing thing, didn't you think about all the kids that you? you knew at the fair man it was you know it was i think it was a outstanding idea first of all to bring some of these you know ambassadors on to you know that have rapport with a lot of these kids we see these kids on an everyday basis almost you know um so to see them at the state fair you know a lot of us were born and raised right there in these neighborhoods so we know the body language of somebody that looks as if they're getting ready to do some. We know what those packs of, of kids hanging together and, and, you know, what that looks like when, when you know, potential problems are about to occur. Uh, 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 um, so what we want to do is, you know, it's just brilliant that we can find it. And I think that's what needs to happen overall is that we need to find ways that we can work together. You know, even, you know, if you want to go with community, you know, uh, with the police and the community, just finding ways that, you know, people with less than perfect records, you know, could assist. There, there has to be a way where they can assist, you know, in, in helping with the crime that's going on, on in these neighborhoods, especially with these kids. Yeah. No, great point. And uh, you got another truth center opened up now. Did you have three of them now? Do you got... That you... I got two. I got two truth centers and one uh, 
uh, museum. museum. The museum is inside of Maplewood Mall. The true other true centers on the east side of St. Paul. You know, and, and and God willingly, hopefully, we can. You know, my whole goal was try to create these. You know, small, intimate little centers in all the troubled neighborhoods just not only st paul but minneapolis and hopefully in other cities across the country just to give these kids a place where they can go where ambassadors or just you know uh, uh community leaders can get these kids to you know start intervening and, and starting to get these kids to come and sit down and be able to try to work some of these issues out before they continue to you know keep killing yeah. each other well and you know how i feel i don't know your perspective on teaching kids the ability to work things out you got to start at a young enough age that they can develop some of those skills before they get too old and that's why I, I'm concerned about the justice system not holding kids accountable and requiring them to to re, retool their thinking when they're a little younger so well the sooner we can put kids in leadership positions and you know, maybe give them jobs and, and stuff. It, it would be the best. You know, it is what's going to work for these kids. You know, it, you know, a kid at you know 14 years old. You know, there's a lot of kids that at 13 or 14 they want to work. You know, but because of law and different things, they're not able to. But if we can find a way to, you know, hire these kids, even if just just to sweep sweep the floor somewhere you know for a couple hours you know a week or something it just gives them yeah. you know that sense of a, a responsibility right. and they need that well because not everybody's in sports anymore like they were years ago and the kids that aren't in sports they like to work put a little money in their pocket that's it's, hey, it it's, helps it's good for them. hey what do you what about these four that were shot in the car you, you got do you know any of the families there i know uh the rev told yeah, me I, you knew some of the families yeah, I did. I, I did, and I feel so bad. Uh, my my buddy Damon, I, I literally, I mean, been knowing that guy for over forty years, and that, that it was his daughter, um, Presley, and you know, just just hearing about that man just broke my heart, you know, and and I really feel for for Damon and and the rest of those family because, you know, regardless to whatever, you know, the kids didn't deserve that. Right. Well, um, yeah, I think we're going to find out that they're they're pure victims and from some some type of evil that went to the next level. Well, I appreciate you being willing to talk, uh, and uh, we can do this again maybe before before the election. So uh, I think we're going to talk to every candidate for about ten minutes. And um, what's uh, do you have a website people can go to? To see. Yep, they yep they can go to uh, www. Mickey Frost for mayor, and that's M I K I F R O S T for mayor. Um, you know dot com, or they can follow me on my Facebook page, Mickey Frost. Same thing on my Facebook page, and you know together. And I I just want to say whether I'm the mayor or not, it's not gonna stop me from fighting to make sure that these kids are are safe and our communities are doing a lot are doing better so you know that's god's will if that if that does happen you know as far as being a mayor but if not you know i don't need a special title on top of my head to keep doing the work that i'm in, that i feel that i've been blessed to do so we'll just keep going you're a good person i have a world of respect for you mickey thank you hey man thanks man I, i'm you know you know what i gotta tell you guys this before you go Hey, we all got tired. I got tired of uh, you guys chasing me and me running. So, you know, I had to figure out a way to do better and be better. And I, I thank you guys for, for being there to, you know, steer me into the right path. Actually steer me into the right path. So thank you guys so much. Nobody had a better smile when we caught him than you. <laughs> but the only time I caught you was that, when that, you that, tripped. That, <laughs> yeah, that's because that's because you guys made me laugh at how hard you guys were breathing. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, thanks a lot. And <laughs> hey, you guys be safe out there, man. And number love, another day, another chance. Let's keep going. Thanks, Mick. Back to God you, bless. my friend. God bless. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Well, that was fun. Yeah, ten, we'll do ten minutes with each candidate like that. Yeah. Talk, give them ten minutes to talk about their. We're going. We're headed. By the way, we're up Neal Street. We're going over to Rice and Larbinger. There's a woman that reports that she was shot. I don't know if the squads are there yet. Or shot at. Shot, shot at. at. Shot at. She might be confused about where it was. She thought it was over on Dale Street. Um, and officers found absolutely no sign of there having been a problem there. So hard to say. Hard to say. 
usually there's a remnant of truth somewhere almost every time. Especially when they're called themselves versus us coming across them. Now what happened when we come across them? That's a different thing. Right. Shots fired call at 521 Grand Hill, which not too far from Dale and Grand. 521 Grand Hill for one shot heard, possibly from the alley. Additional caller 568 Grand Avenue, stating they heard two shots and then flashes outside the area of Oakland and Grand, but nothing further was seen or heard. Grand Hill, that's just a little bit east of uh, Grand and Dale there. 178. 178. This rim call, she was never shot at. The road rage incident, she got hit and the uh, car chased her, so just for info. So no shots fired at road, road rage incident. On the one on Lark, yeah, Lark, Lark, never shot at. It was a road rage incident. She was hit and then chased. <coughs> I think they mean hit by the car. Yeah, they, her vehicle was hit by the other vehicle. It's 2141. And then can you have Minnesota 423 Tango Victor Victor? She seems upset. Received. Did you see her anywhere? The squad? I'm yeah, wondering. If, they said Speedway, I wonder. If yeah, that's true. Right. Oh, look at this guy. What's he got on his head? Yeah, oh, it's a hood. He probably should run this car, Pat. Since he's walking away from it. You ready? Yep. Right there. Right there. Oh, there was, a, is that an infinity? New message. Yes. It was one of those New stolen message. today. New message. Clear? There is to be. Does it come back to an infinity? Yes. Okay. In Brooklyn Center or Brooklyn Park. Where'd he go? Backed up to it. Oh, there he is. He's in the lot. Where are you back there? 5901 Rice Creek Road for an alarm. So, this is where the lady was shot at here. <coughs> or oh, run no. into. Run into and claim she was shot. Obviously, there's something serious happened. Now well, they're smiling. Yeah. That's a good sign. Why don't we That's check the ignition on this car? Good idea. I'm going to wait if you still show me out on that. Then I'll take call. You got me. It's on 143. So, I don't know. We didn't tell you this, but Pat and I found a stolen the other night. We weren't live then, were we? No. No. We were out, we were out on patrol, and uh, we saw three guys walking away from a car at the speedway. Over on White Bear Avenue. One seven eight. Can I get my case number? Anytime people just leave cars and walk away. One seven eight. Case number one nine two seven seven nine. One nine two seven distance. seven nine. And you know these three guys at the speedway. Okay. Twenty one forty three. Is that yours? Oh, we saw a guy walking by away from it before. Is that your friend or what? Need a central squad to start to 180 YZ on Lewis Park Apartments, unit 511 on a domestic. Mother has a knife and tried to stab a father. Yeah, it should be, unless he unlocked it. Is he, was he with you? Nope, I have no idea who that is. Okay. It's still locked, so it should be good. Thank you guys, I yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, of course, you bet. Need a central squad to start to 180 YZ on, in progress domestic, unit 511. Oh, there we go. Good. 
Yeah, like the bouncer over there, huh? I don't know that the bouncers wear shorts now, I guess. Copy and slide it back into the 179 for 2200 DOT. Let's head down Wright Street. Let's do that. Which is more important, that or your phone? <laughs> for the domestic at 187 YZ. Which is where we're headed to, but... Quality siren on that spot car. No kidding. Got my attention. Quality siren. There the details, but... Mother has knife trying to stab father. The child is calling. Bike, bike, bike. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Always use 3M reflective tape on your fender. Please. If you don't have a fender, use it on the post to your rear wheels. I'm a safety nut. My wife will tell you that I always like to make sure my kids have safety. That's a good thing. So, for years, I would make our son, even during the daylight, ride around with a day glow yellow shirt on his bicycle so people could see him, right? Well, yeah. red was an alternative. Red or day glow yellow. But no greens, browns that could get confused with the landscape. So to this day, they still joke about, here's my yellow shirt, Dad. Um, but then as he got a little older, we had to have the flashing lights. You know, you strap on there. So he's asking if less, less lethal is approved. Is dealing with a party armed with a knife. With a knife. Probably not going to be much we can do because. But we're just. Who knows? Sometimes people flee and leave. We'll just be in the area. Is that a remote control car? What is that? Go ahead. <laughs> Somebody's gonna hit that thing. It's a cute little car too. We got two squads here. We got a third one on the way. Looks like looks like the second set of officers actually have a little difficulty getting in the door. <coughs> or maybe it's both one man car, one person cars. There they got in. Just half one, just enough of my eye. Good info. One seven seven. Hey guys, can you put me on a PC and show me right here? You could change to a PCN. Are you in Facebook jail or what happened to you? No, I did something weird about the new page, I think. They think I'm trying to go live rather than just sharing it. I don't understand. <coughs> I've never gone live on Facebook on my own phone and I don't think I ever will. Well, don't say never. <laughs> Let's 
Oh, that's a different deal. Okay. I got a feeling that is connected to what we were just at. Or, no, that doesn't make sense. I don't know. Could be. 2160 on the motorcycle, you can pay this off. I have 2160. Alright, we've got to do a little bit of email. What I'm going to do, I'm going to move that little car out of the way. Just stay right here. Alright, you're a good man. Hey, Pat. Pat, yeah. you're not going to fit in it, though. So we are at 190 is at a Lewis Park Apartments. There's a domestic here where a child called, a small child called and said, my mother and father are arguing. They're up on fifth floor and uh, one has a knife. So the officers are here. They got some less, less lethal options approved. Technically, if someone threatened you with a knife, that's a deadly force. But we always try to use less force. Now we know we have four squads here. Is that the sergeant? Is it Amanda or not? No, no. Sure. We haven't said they're code four. That's why she's saying, are you okay? Kind of waiting for the code four. I wish we had a little sheriff sticker. You don't have any stickers, do you? No, I don't. Put it on that little squad car there. <laughs> well, now that we know there's four cars here at YZ, we are going to go cover the rest of the central district. There's a stolen view out there. They look just like that Chevy from the rear. This one here? Yeah, they look a lot like the Equin that year of Equinox. Yeah. Who makes the view? The Saturn. Saturn. 2097 Albemarle Street. <coughs> the welfare of a female yelling and crying as against the window. Hey, you got me. I saw today when I was uh, out driving around, I saw a, a guy driving what looked like a brand new Cadillac CTX, which is a car. It was absolutely, it was jet black, and it was absolutely the most beautiful car I've ever seen. Really? So beautiful, I pulled up next to him at a red light and motioned to him to roll his, red, his window down. Yep. Yep. And told him, dude, that's the most beautiful car I've ever seen. I think I, think I made his day. <laughs> I, I believe like 90% of that story. 5180. 5180. What's the 10% you don't believe? I'm replacing. Well, knowing you, it was probably a woman that was driving. It was a guy. Okay. <laughs> Not normally that much of an extrovert like that. No, but I, I just I was moved. Okay, well, that's, there you have it. We got a couple pending calls. We're aware of. We're going to head there. We don't we don't tell you where we're going because they haven't been dispatched yet over the air. through here 
prosperous on the way over there. Yep. How's it going? Good. Beautiful night, huh? Tuesday night. Club holiday. New message. New message. Hey guys, how's it going? coming isn't it it sure September is 21st. i've got leaves on my tree turning red already really? yep. uh, for a female who was crying to the mail broke her phone and then left driving towards perkins and was a silver fork focus with wisconsin tags Tuffle golf kilo 7742 anyone happy for you Twenty-four thirty-two. I copy. You are here, and you'll see. Have a good day. Fifty-one eighty-two. So. Okay. You listened to part of Rev last week, huh? Or Friday? Yes, I did. Everybody says that <coughs> you and him have nicer voices than me. <laughs> and I, I can't dispute it. You know, I mean, it's pretty much universal that you have a radio voice. And Rev, you, you've got a very... Rev, Rev has the pastor voice. Well, you have a very comforting fatherly voice. Well, it's nice you to say that, but... But, uh, you know, I, it's okay not to be number one, you know. <laughs> but no, everybody, we all have our strengths. Everybody just says, Pat got such a great voice. Even my wife says, Oh, Pat this, Pat that, Pat this. <laughs> and, you know, then people said about Rev, too. Oh, I loved this. He's such, so calming, et cetera, et cetera. Matter of fact, He's so calming. I think I gotta call him. I think you should. Yeah, I think I gotta call him. And then it's all serious. Call. Call me yes, sir. How about those Steelers? Yes, sir. I wanna know. I wanna know. I wanna know. It was, a good, <laughs> it, was a, it was a good game, too, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Could have gone either Excellent way. Game. Could have gone either way. It went the right way. Don't worry about it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we still we still got to put up with Terry Bradshaw on TV too. What the heck? Oh well, that that needs to go away. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to go ahead and retire. <laughs> he was an amazing quarterback when he beat the Vikings, though. In the Super Bowl. Yeah, he beat up on the Vikings. Yeah, yeah. He's a pretty funny guy. Well, anyhow, I'm yeah. sorry to call you on this sad day, but I know you've probably had a million calls from members of the community. What's uh, what's the latest from the community? How devastating, huh? Just unbelievable. Yeah, the, the community right now is, uh, as you can imagine, we're just in uh, <laughs> wait and see mode. It, it, it's a hurtful thing to, for three four people to be found this way and everyone wants answers everyone's wondering why so 
Uh, basically, what I've been doing all day is praying for folks on the phone, praying for folks in person, wherever we can get, we stop and pray about it. So it's been a tough day in St. Paul. And I know that you know some of the fathers and family members of these, because these are kind of younger by our age. I mean, 30-year-old kids. By but, your age, yes, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. yeah, yeah. No, but I mean, you know a lot of their fathers, because, you know, they're that... Their parents. Yeah, so. uh, all the parents we know, we know the grandparents. Uh, it's it's just a hurtful thing, a hurtful day in the community because you really don't know what to say to a parent at the time like this. As you know, this is not an easy time for a parent. So uh, our our hearts go out to all the families affected, even those who are. Uh, on the other side, because eventually when whoever gets God for doing this, that's going to be another set of parents that are going to hurt and grieve. But uh, right now we need to grieve with this family to give them time to grieve and be there for them as needed. Yeah. Well, thanks for being there for everybody, as you always are. You know, you're always there for people and have a comforting, yeah. comforting way about you. So. There's a lot of people going to need you. Yeah, fortunately, that's my call. I realize my call. I accept my call. And uh, people always ask why I do what I do. And I believe it's because uh, I have a passion for people. And uh, I'm going to continue to pray for them and hold them up and... Uh, help get through. I've been through it with my daughter. Unfortunately, she wasn't, fortunately she wasn't killed, but she did die at a young age. Uh, that That's painful. Yeah. So to the families, and I won't call their names, even though they've been on the news and all that already today. Yeah. We want to just continue to hold them up and continue to pray for them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, hopefully the next step will be to get some answers and, uh, it's tough to finish the grieving process without some answers. Right. And once you get the answer, then you can begin to heal. Right. So, uh, like uh, my friend KG keeps telling people, if you know something, say something. Right. Uh, that family deserves a closure. Family deserves to know what happened to their loved ones and why. Well, that's a whole other thing. I think this... Can I, this... Can I thank you? Is that, your, is that your wife? No. No. no you're, no. Out, you're out shopping. Um, no, I mean, this one I think we'll get some closure on, but the KG, Anaya, and the other ones in Minneapolis, that's, you know, even more frustrating because, you know, there may not become closure for some time. Right. You know, it's, uh, it's like Davisha Gillum, you know, it just takes a while. Right. Things. Take a while, but we'll eventually get there. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, sorry to bother you. I just thought I'd check in. Everybody said they loved your your appearance on Friday night, and uh, you know, we'll keep we'll keep Whoa. we'll keep keeping you involved with this live on patrol. I'm gonna try and be Whoa. extra funny tonight to keep my spot. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll be turning you on soon, Pat. Good work. <laughs> Clear right, clear right. <laughs> there you go. You did that very well, by the way. <laughs> hey, hey, we're, right. we're, we're, we're going to go down on West 7th Street where these kids were before they were murdered. And, uh, you know, we'll talk a little bit more about it. But if you hear anything from the families that they want us to get out to the public, let us know. I will. Okay. Thanks, buddy. All right. Yeah. Bye. 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 Yeah. So we're down by the shots fired call to coming up to Grand Hill. Pretty sure it was end up in GOA, but yeah, I think this was already cleared. In fact, yeah. just figured we'd go this way and the down the way down to West Seventh Street. Mm -hmm. One of our back seaters was actually one of the callers on this. Really? Yep. Fascinating. 
You see that from the cat or from the? Uh, from the cat and from the comments. Uh -huh. You know, your new phone is very nice. I like that. It only like takes up like half the dash, but it's awesome. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, the picture on it's a lot better. Oh, yeah. So in the alley here to the south of us, or just to the right of us. I think we got. The other thing we got to do, Pat, we got to work some day hours. I always like being out in the daytime. You can see so much. And you can identify cars a lot quicker. Live at lunch. Live at lunch. There you go. We'll get it. Let's do that this week. Okay. You know, do a little live during the day. It's one take four. By the way, tonight we're going to hit, we may have already hit it, but five million hours. Five million hey, hours of watch time. Wow. I don't know what hour it'll be, but five million hours of watch time. Thank you, thank you, thank you, to all of you. That <coughs> and that's just on uh, YouTube. It doesn't count the Facebook hours. But now that we switch to uh, this live on patrol page, we'll, we'll be able to tell a little bit more in terms of you know how often who's watching, and we have a little more analytics on a on a business page. Okay. Than we do on a personal page, but five million hours. Thank you. Someone is posting about a shooting murder in Long Prairie, four blocks from their home. Did that just occur, Long Prairie? Must have, I haven't heard anything about Long Prairie lately, huh? Uh. -uh. I actually had to testify in a murder case up there years and years ago where the uh, somebody who was suspected of being an informant for the police in a drug case was murdered. And the person brought the, the barrel they sawed off their shotgun and gave it to a waitress in a restaurant that uh, we used to go to and she turned it over to us and cracked the case. Well, every time I hear Long Prairie, I'm, I'm my very good friend in high school, Barry Bennett. We played football together, wrestled together, and uh, <coughs> he was probably my best friend through high school. To yeah, hang out at his house, eat pizza. He was from Long Prairie, and moved to North St. Paul. Unfortunately, two years ago, you know, I mean, he was a wonderful, wonderful human being, and him and his wife tried to adopt some kids and take, help them grow and take care of them. He was a professional football player for ten years. He played for the uh, New Orleans, played for New Orleans, and he played for the Jets for a while, and one years with the Vikings. Hmm. But um, one of his sons that had some mental health issues. Uh, shot and killed him and his wife. Wow. It was just uh, a devastating, devastating it's horrible. case. I mean, just, I just reemphasized the mental health issues. That, mm -hmm. And they were such loving, kind, good parents. Down on West Seventh Street tonight. No, there's not. Tuesday night. <coughs> Already know, we know what Tuesday night is not. Now, is that other bar you were talking about right down by Shamrocks as well? Yeah. Probably 495 EOT. 
So here's the Grand 7. You might see Patrick J. Scott there. What's the J stand for? <laughs> D, sounds good. D, D Bob. It D. Sounds, I know, but I like J better. <laughs> I think it has something to do with uh, James T. Kirk. You know the J word together? Ah, James okay. T. Kirk. I got you. I got you. The T would be good. Patrick T. James. Three Keep you guys up too late tonight on a work night. Well, some of the backseaters for thank you for that, and I thank you for that. I didn't say you. We might go up there and <laughs> continue to try to catch. <laughs> me. So we are westbound on West Seventh Street. Coming by Mancini's, by the way. If you do eat there, Pat and John say they thank you for listening to Live on Patrol. I ate there tonight. Actually, our one of our tech people, Kyle Meestead, was there his birthday. 38 years old. Kyle Meestead is 38 years old. I think he's on here as Kyle James. But if you log on, you'll see. Actually, his, birth, his birthday was yesterday. Yes, it was. But he had friends that took him out for dinner at Cassetta's. So I took him out for dinner at Mancini's tonight. And uh, the smartest guy we got. By the way, if you watch the Ramsey County Board meeting today, he made our budget presentation hmm. to the Ramsey County Board. Did an outstanding job. Better than I could do because he knows he knows the detail of our budget even better. So Kyle, thank you for some outstanding service and, and happy birthday again. Smartness, Kyle James. Like I said, his name is Kyle Meestead. Great presentation today. And now I gotta say this, you know, you know how we don't like unkind people. Yes. There, there, there are unkind people at all levels of society. Got that. It's um, you know that show. What's it called? Horrible bosses or something like that. I, yes, with so, uh, the gal from Friends, right? Is that what it is? Yeah. I don't. I don't know um, if it's. But my point is that it's not it's not people that are unsuccessful that are unkind. A lot of successful people are unkind. Very true. And I'm going to include some elected officials in that category as well. And I don't know. First of all, that's been great. Mark in progress for agreeing with the Boston copy. 396 Van Buren Avenue, apartment number one. An unknown mail was inside the address. The brother chased the mail out. Unknown location where they currently are. It was a two minute delay. It's a white male. <coughs> I don't know how people end up uh, jacket, white shirt, and becoming movies. unkind like that. When they, when you're in a position of authority, that's that's when you should be the kindest. So Shamrocks is right down here on the right, right? Yep. Just before Randolph. Crazy thing about this is this is where the Stanley Cup was when Ryan McDonough yep. was in town. And so. Great, great bar, a great restaurant. Peaceful, you know? peaceful, peaceful bar. Does the, the Nook, does the people that own the Nook own this too? Yeah, yes, I think they do. They do. And they make a hell of a hamburger. So right here, it's a beautiful. Uh, They're all good friends of my uh, daughter and son-in-law. So they were out there gathering, and then they went to the White Squirrel. 
not sure where that is. Let's let's look that up. I. It's like a, just a, a half a block away. I was thinking it was that way, but. Nine seventy four. So we're. This is the nine hundred block as well. Yeah. I, what's the address of this one? Um, okay, White Squirrel is nine seventy four. 995, so it's back oh, that okay. way. Okay, good to know. I wonder if it's inside Keg and Case. Well, that's a very good question. Oh, I think it used to be a different bar, but what it used to be? Probably, probably. I can't remember. Oh, I'm starting to, my brain's starting to come back. There's a fire. I'll be making my way down there as well shortly. Here it is, right here. Oh, okay. Right. Here, don't you know. I That's a it. very quiet spot, too. Yeah. Well, like the sheriff in Dunn County said, it's a mystery right now, but it's a mystery that will be solved. Yes, it is. Thankfully, most criminals are not that smart, right? Correct. Shoot four people and leave the car in a cornfield in Dunn County, Wisconsin. Like it's not going to be found. Evil walks amongst us. We'll start doing some daytime stuff at lunchtime. Is he uh, still being verbally aggressive with the time? And always keeping Fridays. Yep. We'll just it I haven't heard any more stolen since we came on, have you? I mean, it's just that pickup truck. It's the only one. So if you're about ready to go to sleep and you're in Ramsey County, you can go to sleep knowing there's very little activity outside here tonight. We have all six, for those of you that haven't watched before, we're monitoring six different frequencies from six different parts of the county. Three of the frequencies are for the city of St. Paul, and the other three for suburban Ramsey County. So you may occasionally hear a call and say, why in the world aren't they going to that? That sounds serious. And it would be because it's on the other side of the county. So we don't respond to every call that comes across. Anyhow, back on the kindness thing. Um, I, I appreciate so much when people post memes and monikers about how simple it is to be kind. And uh, I don't understand how some people in positions of authority choose to just be unkind. And, you know, I, it's, it's crazy because... We should go by that Forbes address, huh? Yeah, good idea. Um, it should be the opposite. The, the people with... Uh, authority ought to recognize they have sort of an obligation to be kind to those with less authority. I mean, actually, um, you know, 
today's county board meeting was an example. There were some, you know, they're they're hard. They, I, I was very disappointed in the way they treated Jerry Hammer. But when I say they, I don't mean all seven. Twenty-one you know, sixty-seven. A couple. Twenty-one sixty-seven. Twenty. Calling in ten-one. Six one nine. Where is he at? Copy. Sorry, my vehicle came in contact with us. They are going eastbound on Little Cat Road, blue SUV, um, dealer place, occupied time three. This is going to be related to your call. I suppose we better go up there and give him a hand in case he comes south on 35. Huh? It sounds like what uh, was the original call there? Burglary. Southbound 35. There we go. Copy. Is this related to your current call? I believe so. We got a burglary. Where was it at? It actually occurred in Richfield, but it's kind of a long story. 155 East Little Canada Road. It sounds like there was some tracking done of some property that was taken. Okay. 10-9. I'm trying to catch it up. They're getting to 36 right now, center lane. We'll take any help we can get. Six, light, and safe. Okay, I'm going to go on uh, St. Paul's radio. Uh, we'll see. You got that locked on central? Yeah. 6-0. 6-0 is in traffic. 110 moderate traffic right now. They are in the express lane, far left lane. All right. Clear right. Um, okay. You got a description? Blue SUV. 2400. Jumping, you're jumping on the floor. Yeah, our squads are chasing a car wanted in an earlier burglary in Ridgefield. It just exited 35E at Larpenter. It's a blue SUV. For a red at Larp, they're going back onto the highway. And if you can assist with stop sticks, that would be awesome. Then Ryan taking a left on Wheelock. Copy, blue SUV exited 35 in Larpenter. Left on Wheelock, 20 Can we go to LTEC? Yeah. Yep. I think we're going to LTEC. Continue on Wheelock. I'm starting to lose visual of them. Copy, East Mountain Wheelock on LTEC 1. Continuing East Mountain. 23, 360. Clear. 63 and 23, 65 are out of it. 360, Mr. Brown. What happened? Copy that. Yes, we have any St. Paul in the area. We are, we passed the point. I've lost sight of it. Clear right. Sir, we're coming up right now. We should be there in just a couple minutes. Seeing where did you see him last? I believe I just saw them take a right at uh, whatever street that the clear. Um, next street, next water. Next ten, but I've lost him. Clear. It possibly went westbound on Arlington. Possibly westbound on Arlington. We know what kind of SUV it is, man. It just says blue SUV dealer plates. I think that was just confirming you know why I was pursuing them. Hey, Chloe, if, uh, me down. I believe that they were in the process of stealing the vehicle. Yeah, I'm sure that's some exiting Maryland here in a second. Give it a look. Thank you, It's a blue SUV with dealer plates, correct? Correct. Big or small? Yeah.
So we got a car involved in a burglary. It's, well, why don't you kind of tell them, Pat? It looks like they were tracking some of some. Somehow or another, they were able to track the burglars from uh, a Richfield burglary. Can we have a slug go to Brian? And, and on Jack, Little Canada uh, Road. Back at house, then someone was trying to flag me down, um, and they left from the fourth house, and on Brian, right before the uh, curve. And the deputies interrupted this vehicle, occupants of this vehicle, trying to steal another vehicle. Copy that. Can we get a squad to head to the Bryce and Jackson area for his house in on Bryce? 2365 on the phone here. 2325. Sucks, huh? So I should be some tire tracks to one of the neighbor's yards. Tire track is going through one of the yards. What'd you say? Said tire tracks going through a yard. I think they'll cross the yard, tire tracks through the yards, and we did check with states that they do not have somebody up in the air currently. The last they saw though was Edgerton and Wheelock. Yep. Possibly as far as Arlington. Well, southbound? Yep. Yeah. Interesting that he got off at Larpenter, though. Just checking, mm -hmm. is there any possibility that this was a Chevy Equinox? Yeah, that was a great. Um, this does have actual plates on it, but they, and it is pretty far east, but at 971 Hawthorne and East, two males ditched a vehicle in front of the address and southbound towards Maryland City Yard, and it was a Chevy Equinox of a Victor Bravo 673. Copy. I didn't get a good look at the back. The front had some blue plates on it that did not look like license plates. Um, driver would be a black male, yellow shirt. I believe he had a red bandana on. And there was at least one or two other people in the vehicle. Well, there you have it. Copy. The uh, description we have is males wearing white t-shirts. The address? 900 block, is it? 900, 971 I East off um, Hawthorne, I believe. That right by Forest? Yep. There should be a uh, fair amount of damage. They could be passenger trucks or panel. They could have easily gotten there. Yeah. Well, that's right where they land. Yep. And, and, uh, what was your address? 971 Hawthorne. They ran south. Both in white t shirts. Well, that's good. Not as good as day glow or red. <laughs> or reflective stripes. There you go. <laughs> or flashing lights. Yeah. Can we drop the patch to we further? <coughs> yes, we've got to take it. Okay, we'll take it. Uh, we'll be dropping the patch with Altec 1 at 2230. Did she save with the plate register too or not? Or is it I ran it. It's oh, 1260 West Larpenter. Oh, just went the direction. Well, I wonder if we should run up and just check on it and see if it's the right car even. Yep. You know. Yep, I agree. So. 
it says it's got damage on the passenger side, right? Yeah. If it's the right one. 2165. 2165. So there's a little bit of miscommunication. Um, can someone who is close to the cab still uh, head over to Brian that area? That would make sense. Check for uh, me. Yes, 2365 is in route. <coughs> We're going to Hawthorne, right? Yep. You got one here. Yeah, that's not the one. Gentlemen! How's it going? How are you? Hey, Chris. 2165, sorry, I was on car to car. 2165, uh, St. Paul is just arriving on that Hawthorne address and says there is confirmed damage to the passenger side of that vehicle. Copy, I'll be there in a couple minutes. That's probably going to be our vehicle. Yeah, 2132. Twenty three sixty three on the other side of the vehicle. Yeah, twenty two fifty. Went south. Went through real quick. Last west. 2756. The witness here is saying they ran south through the yard. It's going to be 976 to 978 where they cut through. So just we to give you a little bit of an update, this is the right vehicle that they were pursuing. So thanks to uh, an alert citizen, Happy. we now know where these guys ran from. Twenty-one sixty-three. Any information about we'll be on our pool one for this track. Twenty-one sixty. Go ahead. I'll be on a perimeter spot. Forest and Rose. Forest and Rose. Twenty-two thirty-four. Twenty-three sixty-three. Have twenty-three sixty-five with canine come to the vehicle.
Three to three. Are we in the process of setting up a perimeter for this? Affirmative. Uh, squads are calling all locations so far. We have one for you. Get these guys. Is there much of a red hat? Anybody that I'm fighting from right now? Good work. There's no mention of a hat. Both had white tees on. We're cutting salt. Do you think he's possibly a black male? Hey. Yeah. They're saying most likely he's black males. I'm trying to get more for you. Alec? Yeah. I just got one question. I saw two squads say they're out of it. Did, 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 did we have a stick incident or did they get hit? No, they were just too far back. Too far back? Yeah, yeah. They're, they're both here now. They're okay now. Yep. Okay, thanks. 21. 21. Confirm this is the correct vehicle. Sophie, this is going to be the correct vehicle in relation. 2237. Do we have a direction travel? South. South. Twenty one six six off the outlet. Ryan and Jack. Well the good news is twenty one six four is with They had a flat tire, so they might not have been able to choose this one. Three two seven. What do you want for a perimeter? They might not have been able to choose where they dropped it. How's it look right there? Good, good right. You need to say that again, so we can be understood. Like five blocks out, we got about a seven to ten minute time delay. Copy. Base us. You see anybody running? <laughs> Tell Okay, but nobody running with white shirts on. We had a, okay, thank you. Thank you. Either dogs are up to be nine seventy Hawthorne, the fact you're the jump through the fence is open. Okay, fence through nine seventy eight Hawthorne, fence is open. Twenty two thirty nine. Twenty one six five. Can I have an office? Wish I'd stop that car pulling out of the alley. I hope we don't find out there's a stolen in the alley. Twenty one sixty three perimeter update. Mendota. And just went. Well, if they did, it was running, so it should be impending. I'll take a look. Young kids can run a long way in 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. But that, car, that call was impending before we got there, too, so... Yeah. 6-3 and follow, there is a Mercedes two-door loud exhaust been cruising around the area silver in color i know that was uh mentioned for the initial call oh something like that okay so that's the initial call back up on uh affirmative uh, and that was two black males and it was described as i can't remember the name of the street interesting mm -hmm. yeah just very important just one north from our location that's the north Road. From where? 155. Little Canada Road. In the alley heading west. This was in the original right. call. But I don't think anything. Oh. Uh, Duluth and Geranium. I guess I'm not sure. She said it was in the original call, but I think it was a squad here saying he saw. Oh, okay. It's probably looking for their partners. Mm -hmm. Three eight three at Earl and Rose. Earl and Rose, twenty two forty one. Three sixty Cypress and Jessamine. Cypress and Jessamine, twenty two forty one. Here's the thing. Mute that for a minute.
you can check the data, they can give me an update. So we're trying to reacquire from the original backyard, depending on the town. Trying to reacquire from original, heading east. Twenty one six six myself and twenty one six four will be at six five Ryan Street. We'll be out with two. Copy that. Twenty two forty two. So we'll be checking the garage of the original. That's all. <coughs> I'll be checking the garage of the original column. How far is twenty two forty four? Don't drive your car. I'm not a bad guy. Not no more. Don't you know? drive your car. Can I uh, call my girlfriend and just come pick me up then? Huh? Well, you said you were back in his apartment. No, no. Oh, you guys got me up there, guys. Come on. All right. Unrelated. Sure has a nice car. Unrelated. Okay. Let's go, let's go find the suspects. Copy North 841 York Avenue in the upper unit on the domestic. Bravo, Charlie. Copy that. Remember when I asked what color that car was turning north on Westminster or Arlington? Yep. That might have been that. This one here? The one they bailed out of. Oh yeah. It was pretty silver though. That's one thing I'm good at is colors. <laughs> okay. Well this one was silver, right? No, it was blue. Oh it was? Okay. Well you mean the one up on Hawthorne? Yeah. Yeah, blue. Oh okay. <clears throat> Between the two of us we're gonna get it. <laughs> yes, indeed. tell you what I've run into that friendly license plate many times and I don't know what that why that is you know, 
I'm taking those friendlies. Maryland. All right, well, if you come up with that gem of info, that'll make it all easy. Westbound Maryland, that's for it. 2248. Oh, it's alright. I got a partner. I got a partner. Uh, I can read that stuff. So alright. Thanks, buddy. The St. Paul guys are doing a fantastic job, aren't they? Yeah, they are. They got a good perimeter set up. Perimeter. Got some serious lights. <coughs> said he's tracking westbound? Yep. Through the alley? Uh, I just heard on Maryland. Okay. Yeah. I have to move the... Again, here it looks like they're open. a lot of people that ride the buses to and from work every day. The thing about a five minute play is about as long as you can get before a trap. Mm -hmm. You chase a drunk, so you can have a 20 minute delay. Yep. And for squad information, per address, the phone is still pinging to 155 Little Canada Road East. We're gonna mute for a second on this AOA. Go to. Like, they're painting a white body in a. <laughs> well, we should go back and see if we can find the phone, huh? Yeah. Why not? Why not? Very confusing call. We're trying to put all the pieces together, but we know it was involved in a burglary in Richfield. We know that there were some pings involved. 100% sure what's pinging and what's not yet. Where do we want to speculate?
same area that that truck was parked in by the BP, remember? I mean, a little different name mm -hmm. area, but yep. that's the point is we get that Alec Johnson though. He does a very nice job. Deputy. Deputy. Yeah, pretty yeah, was a very nice job. <coughs> very conscientious officer, deputy. Robinson's apartment. Yeah, right over here. We were there once before. Searching well, for. Uh, again, but remember when we went down on the path? Like maybe you and I were working there. Yeah, I do remember that. Right here, right here. Those are part of them. Did you pick the first one? Hey, we'll take a funny. What's that car over there? Are we stuck? Two and three cops and nine eleven hang up squad to back area of thirty four forty three west. <coughs> so we're looking for a phone. We got our work cut out for us, huh? Yep. I don't know. If you want to be clear. We'll go back through. You see some? Nope. There's a, a knife laying in an open garage door, but like a kitchen knife or something. 8195. 8195. <coughs> Medics to the McDonald's here for a psyche belt. I don't know how precise the track is. That's the problem. Could be in that the okay? building next door, too. Routine is okay. Yeah. No, Captain Zarmax, I need a Well, geez, probably is. We don't know exactly where he started out. But Hold on a second. 76 Stevens Avenue West from a 107 on a harassment complaint. Originally a teleserve call for a report of a harassment as the neighbors of the Pound's dog have been harassing us right there. Uh, 
499 called the cop and said that they got in an argument with a Jerry Pollard and that the suspect is outside of the cops department dressed in all black. I heard that. The cops are How you doing? Good. I'm going to mute this for a second. Yeah. Yeah. Riding on the side of that truck. No, that guy was yeah. riding on the side of it. Two guys were. CSM 467. How's it going? How's it going? You giving them a ride or what? Yeah, giving them a ride around the building from the back. They trying to be lazy. Get, get y'all ass in the house. <laughs> well, I guess that's good. one way to get him in the house, huh? Yeah, because she out party, you finna party, get that ass in the house. Well, that's good. I'm leaving, and ain't nobody out here responsible to watch out. Very good. What have they been doing out here, anything? They are running around, running through the park, but it's too late, it's dark. Can't, can't be seen up at the park, I'm over here getting in the house. All right, thank you. Yeah, See you later. Yeah, thank you, yeah. thank you. New message. New message. New message. I hear somebody getting yelled at. Well, we figured. One was we're making a good route, patrol route here. Well, we're here because one of the items that was stolen is pinging up here somewhere but finding a phone in a parking lot's like not quite as bad as a needle in a haystack <laughs> we don't have the exact location how's it going gentlemen everything good oh i something it sounds like i broke something flattened my tire is that a police car there check that old police car out huh dukes of hazard it, it might be. It might be. Let me just New back message. up. I want to get it on New film. Message. That looks like New Buford message. T. Justice's car. What kind of car is it? Uh, looks like an LTD. LTD? How are you guys, anyhow? You doing good? Hey, I got something for you. Gift card, $10 cash, speedy. No, no. it's a gift card. Speedway? Is it a Speedway? Yeah. Speedway. Yeah, Speedway. Ten dollars from the sheriff's That's office. Legit. All right. It's legit. Appreciate you. Yeah, you bet. Right. You bet. Right, have, a good night. have a good night too. too. Thank you. I like that car. I gotta figure out who owns that. Yeah. Glad to hear it. Yep. Call us if you see any bad guys. Yeah, guy. I, I know it. I know it. Well, nothing worse than lack of information, Pat. 
Yeah. That's the thing about different departments across counties. Some late at night, especially. Sometimes the information doesn't travel very fast. Yep. Yeah. See what we got here. New message. How's it going? Message. You guys watching? All right, very good. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Yeah, yeah. We had a suspicious car that looked like it was burglarizing something. Turned out it was wanted for a burglary, so it fled from our officers. But we got the car in St. Paul. Well, you probably saw it. Yeah, yeah, blue SUVs. Yeah, blue SUVs. Yeah. It's all good. Thanks for watching, you guys. Yeah, no problem. Appreciate it. Appreciate it a lot. Have, Have a good, a good night. night, guys. Thank, thank you. So the back seaters, they've been right before. Yep. Creek Avenue, so They're gonna, the you're gonna have to read this. Some back seaters think they saw the phone in the grass. All right. Whoever it was saw the phone in the grass. We're gonna go back. Okay. Let's go real slow, cause let's let them catch well, it's up. It's gotta be at least 15 seconds. And there's no grass here. I know, but I want them to be able to. Yeah. Then we're gonna stop right here. Guide us into it. You got your fault. You got your light. Yep. Well, there's a mask. How long after we saw that police car did you see the phone? Well, there wasn't much grass down there, so it's got to be up in here somewhere. Two twenty. Just work twenty three. It was right as you turned right when you talked to the first person. Now, we talked to several people here. When in relation to when we saw the police car? Hello. Huh? Uh, just, there were some problems out here. Happy birthday. Here's when I took a right here. Maybe it was in this grass. Maybe, which person do they mean though we don't we talked to several people is it the people that were in the apartment or the people in the parking they are saying by the trailer do you remember seeing a trailer Before the police car. Chloe, we're counting on you to synthesize the comments. Oh, actually, we weren't here. This is the next one we want. We are in the wrong one. Okay, they said when you muted, and that was when we were talking to the people on the first floor there. Okay. Before the police car. Okay. If it was when we muted, then we know right where we were. But we didn't take a right, though. A utility trailer with sides. <coughs> Sorry. Something here. So, if it's when we muted, muted, we got to go back out here. Then. I did pull down that first driveway first. Remember? Mm -hmm. Trailer. Well, we could go back and look on there. 
video. Yeah. Go in the way back parking lot where that old school officer cop car is. Yeah, we're going to, but the people telling us now was before we talked to you. That's the one you're talking about, the utility is. It was similar. Okay, but they said it was before we muted to talk to you guys. Well, who know? We'll go back to both. We're just checking up here. We'll go back. <coughs> so, we were down there. There's no utility trailer down there, nope. right? All right, well, we'll go back to the old police car. On the right after you muted. Well, maybe they're confused about when we muted. But this is the only place we muted right, right here. And they said the tra trailer was after the police car, so let's... I think you'd see one in the grass here. You'll see it if it's there though, right? Yeah. I'm gonna give it the old college try. Yeah. I mean, the only place you could really see it was. This was not the right place. Then we went and talked to this gentleman here. Right? Yep. And then we went around the corner. Talk to the men. Okay, there's the trailer. Follow mail from my location. Is there grass on your right there, Ben? <coughs> oh, there's a lot of people. There's only grasses right here on your right, dear. I'm just gonna get out and walk it. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna drive it. How you doing? Got me 30 minutes. I feel like. So we're looking for a clue. I think the clue we have is one of our back seaters. Leading us on a goose ch chase. I don't know, Pat. I don't know. Yeah, that trailer isn't anywhere near any grass. All right, I think. Well, I think you know we they could have just played playing a joke on us. Our back seaters. No, they, I don't know. <laughs> well, it's obviously, you know, nothing's guaranteed when you see a phone in the grass. <coughs> Anyhow, if you're wondering where we're at, we're at the provinces, apartments in Little Canada, 155. East Little Canada Road. Got a little, little bit of activity back here. We're looking for a phone that was. Possibly taken in a burglary.
Well, the, probably the smart thing to do. Well, I have no doubt that I think the officer one of our backseaters saw this, but well, eventually the officer that's pursuing have to come yeah. back here and take a look okay. to where he was originally, right? Yep. Plastic. Yep. Gatorade. Gatorade could be. <laughs> Gotta go handle some other calls now. Yep. Is that Alex? Hello. Hang on one second. Hang on a second. Good, how are you? I'm trying to sort it out ourselves. That, there's a, there, yeah, there, there's a lot going on with it that we Something is, because they're pinging up on here. The, uh, from it, uh, on the live, but we're, we're on top of that. But thank you very much for calling. Yeah, we, we were over there at the provinces because the phone was supposed to be pinging over there, but I don't know. I'm gonna go see what Tony. I'm gonna. We're gonna follow you, you down there and All see right. if it's related. Bye. Thanks, Phil. <coughs> well, I found my phone. Who was that? <laughs> uh, a backseat. Back so somebody is in custody here. We don't know if it's related. We're trying to figure it all out. Tony, can you tie the dots together? <coughs> we were just over there looking for the phone. So what do we know here? Where was Alex's first contact? Was it here or over there? I'm, I, I would, I would have so. It's a good question. It sounds. Like, I heard there's. What's his squad number? Alex twenty one sixty five. We got to get to the bottom of this. All right, I'll give, uh, I'll give Alex a call. Twenty four hundred. Twenty four hundred. <coughs> Can you have twenty one sixty five? Give me a call. Two four eight twenty four hundred. Alex, so start me from the beginning, and where were you when the car originally fled? What was she waving you down for? <laughs> 
that was at that was at 65 Bryant. Okay. But yeah, that is that's who's Tony's talking to, I'm imagining right now. Somebody's up. To, so um <coughs> So you were on Bryant and Jackson when when they fled. Did it go? Did it, was it in the provinces or or was was okay? Was the original call in the provinces? Yep. Okay. All right, but we think mute that a minute, okay? Yep. So, um,
find my eyeballs so they can hit a mark and it'll, it'll make more. Yes. You got your hole light? Yep. Can you shine it that way? Yep. You have the annoyingly bright one? Oh, it's annoyingly bright. That'll work. Okay. <laughs> 5182. 5182. If you could, we try to look at the left There's one report. All right. There we have it. Do we have the Marauder with? Oh, do you want a bunch of lights there? If I put my gear where do you want my car? Alright, yeah. Where do, where do you want it? Right here? Uh, yeah, just shine it in here. 366 Tango, that's not me. You're not going to get it. No, no. Alright. Not sure how much longer we're going to be here, unfortunately. We got, we got another squad holder. Okay. We're counting on a dog to find it. They have dogs that do that electronic. Don't they? Well, we'll find out later tonight what all this entails. But <coughs> the car involved in the burglary was not the car that was chased. It might be unrelated, it might be related. So they're looking for the phone in the green space between Jackson Street and the provinces, where, which is where we were. Right. I might as well drive down there one more time and just check the grass on the other side. <laughs> on the chance that... We got a screenshot of where he saw it. It's up on that kind of that hill. Okay. It was on our right on the way out. Yeah, I know this is a little different area, but. <laughs> okay, so it's be the provinces are right behind here. It could be inside an apartment too. Therein lies the right. Which one? What's the name of it? For oh, the Versa? Yeah. Oh, good. He's back. Yeah, Golf X Ray Golf 865. It should be. I think it's stolen. Yep. Oh, here's, uh, uh, where's the pizza space? Down here a little further. <coughs> You want channel two, I think. It's a BMW. Here's where the green space is between the buildings. Right here to your right, if you want to give it a light. There's a lot of dumpsters over there, all the way there. It's these little squads. Okay. The squads are back in there. Let's go find the stolen, huh? Yep. For information, we have three more callers on this versus that wood version like that. I'm hearing five shots. I'm not like finding where, four, what squad saw this car. Was on Edgerton, so it must have been an East car, even though it was on two, but. Yeah, I'm not sure. 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 Yeah
Edgerton. Edgerton. That doesn't mean they even created an incident. Though. Well, they must have. It is that still. Yep. Yeah. Confusion there is an officer is looking for one car and all of a sudden another one takes off on him. That's about as confusing as you can get. They're obviously using some meth. There was meth found in the car. So are you talking the one from this deal? Yeah, the blue car down here there was meth found in it. Some meth pipes and stuff. Twelve hundred to fourteen hundred arc rate. Code four. Code four twenty nine. And that vehicle's been seen at Rice and Larpenter a lot, also. So we're looking for a car that is a person that's wanted for several offenses. It's a stolen car, and. Um, uh, cars have pursued this person several times, but even when they're not pursuing him, he's blown red lights. The other day, he was blown red lights on B Lock and uh, what are we Arcade. So, so it's like Hawthorne and Arlington. Okay, we'll get around. Or uh, arc right between off or on the I there was a shots fired down there. You're the car guy, Pat. I'm pulling on yep. your spot. Yep. Yep. You want to go Wheelock or Larpenter? I'm leaning towards Wheelock. Okay, me too. But I'm also leaning toward a cheeseburger. <laughs> I think you could probably talk me into that too. How do you drive when you're sitting that low in a car? Stop by and make sure he's okay. That's a Forte, huh? Kia Forte? Yep. Mm-hmm. 
Two six seven. Fifteen seventy five Rice, St. Paul Corner, Southeast Corner on a nine one one hang up. Mail stated, "Hurry up, hurry up with PD." Copy. Let's go to that. Uh, we're not that far away. Rice and Larf. Oh, hurry up with PD. Is that the bar there? Well, that could be Taco Bell. No, that's not the bar. Well, it's across the street. Maybe we're back on the speedway. Well, you said Rice and Larf under the car could be at any house, yeah. right? Yep. 321, I copy you're not 721, Hoyt, and a domestic. There has been abusive and disconnected. Clear. 469, Tony Road, Charlie West, assisting medics with a touch. Going on channel 2. Man saying, hurry up with the police department. Not being cooperative. Terms with several people. Southeast corner of Rice and Larpenter is all it says. Hey, Drew Gabby. Hey, Fuck Naval Copy. 2334. Well, as you requested, we're hurrying up. <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. Yeah. <coughs> There's a line from The Princess Bride. I can't remember it, but it's something like that our viewers can help us. Stuff said, as, as you. Line. Southeast corner. Here we are. We're the. We're here for you. But it's not, he's definitely not on the corner. Well, I hope it's that he's the Taco Bell line is too slow. But is it 15? It says 1675. Okay. But it also said Southeast corner. Okay, hold on. Hi. There you go. You called? Yeah, bro. I'll fight, fight, fight some black dudes, bro. I'll fucking fight, bro. But I'll fight, bro. What uh, happened? Man, shit got real over there, bro. Over, over where? where? Uh, Taco Bell. Okay. Are you police? We are. Do you know, do you know where Mark Grunhauser is? Who? Grunhauser. Grunhauser? Yeah, we know him. Yeah, That's my buddy. Yeah, he's a good guy. You gave me a ride to uni. Oh, what? what? We're, we are busy in the middle looking for a stolen car right now. Man, so you want to help me out? What do you need? I need to get out of here. I'm nervous as fuck, bro. I don't want to fuck. I want to shot at, bro. Where do you live, sir? Fifty one. Uh, where do you live? <laughs> Over there. Huh? Over there. What's your Roseville? Address? Roseville. Why do you want to go to university then? Because I won't get a drink, bro. A drink? Where? Everything's... Which which bar? Uh, do you know where Allers is? Yeah. Yeah. How about Tin Cups? How about that one? No. You don't want to go to Tin Cups? No. No. How come? I, 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 where were you I, drinking, I, right? Where were you drinking? I was right? drinking, buddy, bro. I, I just don't want to fight, bro. Well, I know. We, we, are you Bob Fletcher? I am. I am. Uh, <coughs> how you doing, man? <laughs> I'm good. I thought you see how right I remember. We're gonna give you a place a ride someplace safe, but okay. we're not giving you a ride to another bar because you've already had too much to drink. No, I didn't, bro. Okay. Alright. Can you give me a ride? To yes, a... we're gonna give you a ride. Give but, you a ride. But where do we where are we gonna take you? Let's decide before you ride get to Allery's, bro. Huh? Ride to Allery's. Well then how are you gonna get home later? Man, I, I, I got a spot, bro. You got a spot where? Over on uh, St. Peter and Tom, uh, 10th and St. Peter. 10th and St. Peter? Is this your officer? This is. He's an officer, too. Look. All right, so Almost. jump in and jump in the back. We're going to give you a ride. See? I follow you, bro. Yeah? I thought you was Bob Fletcher, bro. Well. <laughs> there, there you have it. I'm not a bitch. I don't, I, we didn't think you were. We came to help you. You I called did. the police, right? Yeah. All right. I bought a fucking fucking black dude. Hold on. Well, don't oh, say, no, don't, yeah. don't say anything. Hey. 20 for 100. 20 for 100. Quiet a minute. Quiet, 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 quiet. Good. We're going to handle.
handle that rice and larpenter call of 1565 and courtesy transport from here to Ellery's. Do you know a bar? Yeah, the Ellery's in courtesy ride. Hey, do you know a bar downtown? Bro? Yeah. Bob? Yeah, I do. Let's go to one. Well, we're going to Ellery's. 267, you can be clear. I really don't want to go to Ellery's. 267, copy the urgent call. Yeah, go over there. You know what I'm saying? Thanks, it's 24 hours. You know one that goes over there? Yeah. Which bar do you want? You know, is St. Bob Bar open? St. Uh, there's, yeah, they're open till one. Till like one. Tom Reese's. Yes. I can drop you on Seventh Street. How you, you doing, buddy? That's right. a bad yeah, That's bad. Yeah. He's an extra in the car. Thank you, thirty nine. I watch. I watch you, bro. Well, we're glad. Now, Bob, now, now you're on live right now. Am I? Yeah, you're on live right now. Just be respectful and kind. Always. We, what's your first name? Delisle. Delisle. This is the kindness patrol. That's why you're getting a ride. Yeah. We're rooting for you, but you have a place to stay down in Templeton, St. Peter. Yeah, I'm gonna get fucking. You got a place to stay down there. That's good. Okay. Yeah, I don't really. Okay. I know my place. My place. <coughs> you stop. So you stop uh, running, huh? No, I'm still running. No, I'm saying next year. I'm gonna tell you something. You what? Did you stop. You stop running. I run again You're next year. Yeah, I run again next year. Okay. Okay. I'll vote for you again. Yeah. Uh, you're a nice man. I never can't believe I fucking saw you. Do you know about Grandhauser? Oh. Yeah, yeah, we know Grandhauser. That's my buddy. Good, Good guy. guy. You know how I don't know him? I, I saw him today. Did you? Yep. Call him. No, we can't it's bother him now. You know how I know him? He's you know. playing football together. Really? Where are we at? St. Bernard's. St. Bernard's? Yeah. Joy now I want to see you play football. Or play basketball. Okay. What do we got? How old are you now? 39. 39? Barnes, I'm going to Barnes. Oh, Barnes might be 41. No, 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 no. We're going to take you downtown so you're close to wherever you're going to stay tonight. Yeah. Medics are staged in the area. I figured you were at Taco Bell. Wait, wait for your food. Nah, fuck them, bro. Oh, my hey, Taco Bell, today. Sorry, twenty six fifty six. Good morning. Yeah. It's my son's favorite food. Yeah. Where's your son? What do you do? What's your sheriff? Yeah, no, he's not in sheriff. He's he's still in high school. Still in high school. Hey, okay. Yeah, tell me about your football career. Well, was Grundy any good? Man, that dude hit me so a like hard line. Uh, 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 he's a tough, tough guy. Yeah, he don't play games. Like I play. There's a bunch of Grundhausers. I one, play. one of them quit, yeah, right? I heard. I, I don't <laughs> think so. I don't know what so. the other was, bro. Yeah, but I heard about some. I talked to another officer. Thank he told me. We got some more cigarettes in your car, huh? Pardon me? Cigarettes? Yeah, what about them? Can we smoke cigarettes? We don't allow any smoking in this car. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we'll give you a cigarette. Pat will give you a cigarette when you let you out, okay? We're almost there. Hey, what position did you play in football? I played receiver and safety. Receiver and safety? Actually, corner. Man. Did you say you went to Totino? Yep. After you left St. Bernard's? Yep. I played, uh, I played uh, basketball. I didn't play football. Why'd you leave St. Bernard's? <laughs> yeah, no, that's a good answer. That's a good answer. Am I on mine? You are. But they can't, your face isn't on, they're just your voice. Just your voice. Keep it real, right? I'm sorry, say it again. Keep it real, right? Keep it real, yeah. Well, I'm I glad thought I noticed your face, Bob. Well, it's not very good looking, so it's easy to notice. Yeah, shut up. 
We ain't got to talk about that one. Okay. Oh, man, dude. Do I make money off the, this? Uh, off of, off of YouTube? No. Off of this, uh, off of this drive? Yeah. No, because we don't. None of us make money. Hey, here's here's a. I heard they never didn't mind. like never you, bro. Nope. I heard they didn't like you, bro. Who? That you was doing this. Some people. Hey, read you that. read the newspaper? That was the city council. I read everything. Because the city council doesn't like us showing two things: how things really are on the street. And secondly, how the police actually get along with the community. Hey, this is a $15 gift card from the people that watch us for a high V. High V. High V. High V. It's like, well, that's a problem. I didn't bring any other ones with me tonight. Where's high V? Well, there's one over on White Bear Avenue. I need a, I need a fucking gift card, though. That is a gift card. Yeah, but we'll take it as a liquor store. <laughs> well, actually, hy V does have a liquor store. Yeah. It's on a bar. It's on white bread. No, we don't have any bar hey, listen, gift listen. I'm just going to tell you. How often do you drink? A lot. You know it's not the best for you, right? I work, bro. Do you? Yeah. Well, that's good. What do you do? I do a landscape. I show you guys. And you know what? I just got a job to do at XL. I get 15. At the XL? Yeah, XL is. What are you going to do there? Uh, cook. Oh, good. They're looking for cooks. What are you right? eating? You want some? I love it. You're my, one of my favorite. You know, I like cherry candy. You want some sour balls? Man, I'll eat one. Huh. Hey, that's what you eat? Well, yeah. You're like my uncle. Yeah. I'll eat all day. Great. Bad all day. Here you go. Hey, bro, can I trust you? Yeah. Because I don't know you, bro. That's sure Pat. you can. That's Pat. He's always with me. I didn't hear that one. I heard you were with somebody one day. That wasn't a fucking real police. What's your favorite food? <coughs> Pat, Pat worked for St. Paul for 30 years. Huh? St. Paul Police Department for 30 years. Yes, I did. What's your favorite food? My favorite food? Yep. Chicken up for Oh, I love it. What restaurant? Huh? You make the sauce yourself, too? No. Pat's a cook, too. Good man. Hey, do you like those cherry balls? If you do, you want the rest of the bag? No. Okay. I'll go to the early, too. So you are literally one of our very few true sitting in the back seat back seaters. <laughs> I bet Bob Fletcher knows who I am. Bob. Yeah. You ever heard of the Lyles? The Lyles, yeah. From the I'm real estate. From the real estate? Yep. Yeah. The real Delisle. You got a sister, right? My sister? Yeah, what's her name? Vanessa? Yeah. You're lying. Mm -hmm. You ain't seen her a I'm old, man. See? I can't even tell you that much. So, yeah, see me? Open your door. Open my door for what? You lie. See? Look at that. You lie. Yeah. Indeed. Oh, I never lied, well, man. There's some Delisles out in White Bear, too. Todd Delisle. Oh, St. Paul, bro. How about Nicole? You know Nicole? My wife knows Nicole. <coughs> Bob loves Nicole. Yeah? We used to work together. You know Jimmy? Which Jimmy? Jimmy Delisle, oh. Jack Delisle. <laughs> Did you grow up in the Como neighborhood then or what? No. Oh. Well, if you went to St. Bernard's, I just thought maybe you grew up over no. at Ray Street. My grandpa, maybe. You know Tom. Tom who? Tom Dula. Yeah, yeah. That's my grandpa. Really? Carol. Huh. Yeah. I don't ever got a lot. What bar do you want to go to? Allery's or? or? Yeah, find me somewhere open. Well, I'm sure Allery's is open. Hopefully the same people you were fighting with won't be there because oh, no, a lot of there. people come down to Allery's after the other bars close. No, they wouldn't have the bar there. Well, it's nice meeting you. Bro, 
nose is open. Huh? West 7th Street, like I told you, Tom Reeves, bro. I can take That's you to Reeds. Right, you don't want to go to Al Reeves because no. Al Reeves is open. Fuck him. Talk That's nice. Like, Talk nice. I'm sorry. We no. have people listen to us that don't appreciate that. Oh. We're gonna run out of bars though. You know, the truck park. You ever been to the truck park? Where's that? Right by, right by Reeds. <laughs> Where's that? But Probably the cheapest drinks. The cheapest drinks. Boy, you're picking some strange places for the three cheapest drinks. <laughs> Where is it? I don't know why that. I don't know. Cheapest drinks. Well, we can't take you too much longer there, friend, because if we get a if we get a serious call, we're gonna have to take off. Just drop me off. I heard about you, bro. I heard and people you fucking didn't like your shit, bro. A couple people don't like it. No, I heard hey, about you know on YouTube, we get 97.2% thumbs up. 97.2%. Thumbs up. That's pretty good. And you know what? You know what the thing is? The other 2.8%. Rumor, rumor is they don't Rumor is they don't have thumbs. <laughs> I don't go out of I'll give you a lift on the show. I'll just over here yesterday. They call them four fingers. Yeah. Hey, man, don't disrespect, bro. This is what? Don't disrespect. Yeah. Because this dude, this Which dude, one? I don't want to beat him up, but bro, he's an asshole, bro. Who? This one right here. In front of me? Me? Yeah. yeah. He's the nicest guy you in town. You don't like me? I got four fingers, bro. Oh! That's just respect, bro. No, he was joking. We were joking. We, we were talking about the... Yeah, I got four fingers. We were talking about the thumbs up thing. Yeah. I got a fucking he, thumbs up right here, bro. Yeah. I got four fingers right here, bro. He wasn't talking about you. I wasn't talking about you at all. Right, Very sorry if I offended you. I, I had. We I got. Hey, by the way, we got a friend that shot his thumb off. Bill Snyder. I yes, used to did. get that in high school. He, he was trying to arrest the guy. High school? Yeah. I, they used to fucking joke with me why, why I got <coughs> home. Well, we're My still... dad shot it off. I was born with Your dad it. shot it off? They, you know, they joke with me well, they joked. Well, they joked. No, but Bill Snyder was arresting a guy. He was arresting a guy and he was handcuffing him with his gun in his hand. And as he put the gun over and pulled, shot his thumb off. True story. That was Chick Bonnywell's kid. I'm not trying to fuck with you, bro, but yeah, I got four figures, bro. You see? No, no, no. I had no idea. All right, well, here's the deal. I you know no where Dorothy idea. Day is there? In case you really need to get hired up, you can step over there. But we're going to gonna drop it right here. Is there a fire? Yeah, several. You know where McGovern's is? I don't know if McGovern's has got cheap drinks, because no one Pat McGovern, probably not. <laughs> well, it's time to get a fucking time. But here's the thing. You can't get in a fight with people. If you get in a fight with people, you're going to end up going to jail. I scared you. Okay. Uh, is there a cheesy cheese well, maybe You want this bag of red cherry balls? No, this shit killing me. I'm about to spit out the window. You gonna want a Winston? Open this. You want open a this shit, bro? You want a Winston? Open this door, bro. No, we're, we're gonna take you to court. No, open this door. You want to get up? Door. Are you feeling sick? No, I don't. I don't want this shit. You don't want to be what? Okay, we're letting you out. You want to get out? Okay. No, I want, I want to spit this out, bro. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Yeah, You're just going to spit? Okay, yeah. go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Open the door and you can spit. What is that, the red balls? Yeah, I can't do that. Didn't like those? Fuck. They're not my favorite either, but well, it's all they like had at the premiere. <laughs> I like chocolate. Oh, well, this one's closed. Yeah, find me a little bit. I'm afraid that isn't looking too good down here. Truck park's yeah. closed. option is Allery's. Everything else is closed. Yep. It's Tuesday night, not a big night. Yep. Oh, 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 Reed's is still open. Hey, Bob. Yeah. What are you on the five or ten, bro? Bucks? Yeah. If I had some money, I'd give it to you, because that's the kind of guy I am. You got any cash, Pat? I, give do, I have zero. Man, you should have asked that before we went by the ETM. Well, let's go back. Let's go back, then. 
We'll go back. We'll, we'll find the ATM. Alright. I watch you, bro. I got your back. I got your back. Okay, man. we're gonna go back to the ATM, but then we're dropping you at Allery's. Alright, we got a deal. We got the best deal in the world. Thank you, Bob. You're welcome. I thought I recognized you. <coughs> That's a good one. We can't smoke a cigarette in the back seat. No, sir. I'm talking to Bob. Bob loves me. Bob, I'm sorry. I like you, Bob. Hey, fucker. Thank you, Fletcher. You're welcome. You're welcome. Why are you? Why are you asking? Are you a Fletcher too? He's my you partner. Said, I thought you said Patrick. No, I said. Don't Patrick. be respectful to Patrick. He's my. He's one of my best friends. Is he real though? He is real. He's a real. Jump. Does he jump when they tell him to jump? That's the real shit. I was just right here. I was just right here. I got a job. Fuck oh, yeah, you crazy wife. You do realize that you'd be better off not drinking as much though, right? Oh, I'd be an asshole if I didn't. Do you have any trouble getting up for work when you're drinking? No. Okay, well that's good. I'm glad to hear that. You said you were on the uh, box. What? What or what? Uh, what? I'm sorry. You said you 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 go in the box, right? We're going. To, I'm going. To, yeah, I'm going to an ATM down here at US yeah, Bank. Yeah. I'm going to get you a little cash, and Thank I'm you. dropping you at Allery's. That's you're the. You're being nice today. Uh, we're always nice. I thought you. We got to get some gift certificates. I thought you said you ain't. Uh, I thought you said you ain't going back for your next year. Oh no, that was that. That was Mike Freeman. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you're in, you're into it now. That was Freeman. He's the county yeah, attorney. Now you're obviously follow politics. Yeah, I follow everything. Oh, God, stupid guy. No, I know. I can tell. I follow the drug game. I follow the drink game. I follow everything. Gotta go one more, I think. Oh, yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. Thank you. Hey. Yeah. Yo, my God. We are the champions. We are the champions. You can't play music, huh? Yeah, we can play music. Know. What kind of music? I know music, but well, well, the problem is we got six radios we're listening to. And so it kind of it shit. disturbs us. So you know what? That dude needs to fucking go to eat. He's, go, he's doing some serious <laughs> dancing. Dancing queen. Dancing, dancing. dancing. Bitch. You call him dancing pussies. Yes, I love him. Well, I hope this is still operating here. Oh, there's the ATM. Yeah. Somebody else is getting money too. Oh, you Bob fucking goddamn Fletcher. Alright, let me see what I can find my my cards. Mm. I haven't used these cards for so long. I'll make sure I You must be rich. Let's do it. Hey, can I step out of here and smoke a square? Sure. Right. Please don't leave me, all right? No, we're not leaving. Right. Meet you on the other side of the, I'll be right here. of the ATM. No, I'll be right here, bro. Well, we got to drive up to the ATM when these guys are done. Maybe, uh, Frank, I'm getting clarification from the other TV. You didn't clean out your car, right? No, we did. We, no, I was leaving all in there. Just no, leave, leave everything leave, in there, please. Leave everything in there. Many of my cards with me. Hopefully, I got one here that works. <laughs> I don't know where my U.S. bank card is. Not here. I might have thinned my wallet out. Uh, friend is refusing to leave. Suspect is Sean Anaya, Hispanic male, 29 years old. Wearing a sweater. Oh, shorts. what do I got here? One fourteen. Oh, Frank, this One's in there. Maybe you got something else in there. Yeah, I literally have zero cash. Well, what the hell, Pat? <coughs> All right. I think this is. What the hell? 
this is my new card. Yeah, because the, the last one was just expired. <coughs> It'd be embarrassing if I don't want to. I don't know the. How you doing, buddy? Passenger. I'm Mr. great. Pat. How are you? What is your last name? Scott. Captain Scott? Yes, sir. Captain James T. Scott. Scott. <laughs> Patrick Scott. Hey. Uh, is he still officer or is he retired? I am retired. Oh, he's your back now. We just haven't officially I haven't sworn him in yet. All right, I got some money. I got a 20 for you, but we got to go to Allery's first to give it to you. Thank you, buddy. Listen, don't spend it all on alcohol, okay? <laughs> You got a phone though, right? Because you called the police? So that's good. In case you need any help later. What's your number? I'm not telling you my number. I don't give that out very often. But you can call 911 and they can get a hold of me. Bob Fletcher. <laughs> three, three, you can uh, disregard Hey, that's your name? name? That's my name. Yes, yeah, it's the thing about my name. Mike Freeman, you know, you heard about Mike Freeman not running. That was pretty astute. Pretty astute. Who's the sheriff of Hennepin County, you know? I'm Ramsey, but you know who the sheriff of Hennepin is? Is it Mayor's McDonald's or something? Mayor's McDonald's? It's uh, Dave Hutchinson. Oh, that's Hutchinson. Ramsey. No, that's Hennepin. I'm Ramsey. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but Mayor's McDonald's. 5126. It's in Minneapolis. Aaron Dondo. Aaron Dondo, yeah. yeah. Rondo. Who you say? Wow. Well, Todd X. Oh, Todd X. Yeah. yeah. That dude is a bitch. I think so. The music store across the that? street from that address. Yep, friends of the alarm is going off. Uh, suspect is a black male, 30 years old, Tim Bill, wearing all their Here, clothing. I'm going to give you this before you get out so they don't see it. Here, take this. His dreadlock. You know, you seem like you seem like a very smart young guy. Smart young guy, so good luck with your new job. Yeah, I'm on. 14 breaking. All right, we got to. Hey, tell yep. him to be nice to me. All right, I'll tell him. But you be nice to them, too. Come on, 13, uh, 20, 13, Gentlemen, can you be nice to our friend? There you go, buddy. Hop out. Hop out. See you later. Hey, good Bob. You bet. He's got money. Forest Burglary, uh, 645 Selby Avenue, Unity, uh, for a male that broke into the music <laughs> store and fled on foot. Did you find his ID? Black male, 30 years old, thin, all dark clothing with dreadlocks. You find your ID? He does. Okay, he had it with him. Thank you. Thank you. Where's the burglary? Okay. Well, everybody has a story. We didn't really catch much of his. That's the police. I'm not 100% certain we had the best option for him, but we really didn't have any other options, did we, Pat? We didn't want to let him fight with the people up on Rice and Larpin, right? Absolutely not. And, and folks, just so you know, you weren't hearing completely intoxication there. The man has some... Uh, disabilities as well but he could tell I mean he knew Freeman had decided not to run yeah you know even in fact he recognized us he wanted that one to happen if he was he's got a job working landscaping and a cook at the XL pretty yeah. good huh yes indeed <coughs> that burger is up on Selby 
I already took off. Oh, but it's probably the same. Burger. Broke into the music store across the street. Walker uh, West or what? All dark clothing, 30 years old. Eastbound on Selby. All right, let's go catch a burglar. The thing about this uh, life is we just try not to be judgmental towards sure. people. Copy from the from Kent Iowa. Kent Iowa. Kent Iowa. Just not see them. Taking this off scan. Up? Yeah. Just leaving it up. Actually, let's stop it out see if they cover. Yeah, I'm coming and selling him out. And he has dreadlocks, dark clothing, thin yeah, build. I'll be at A and then cover. Dreadlocks. Transmission got caught. Same way. 120 does look like he injured himself. We'll get a blood trail going eastbound on the sidewalk. Hopefully, people stop for four way stops. I don't know. Got a blood trail going eastbound on the sidewalk. We got a blood trail. It's all good. Bound from 645. So on that east and south border. Is that kind of where the blood trail's heading? Alright, so. South. Copy locked down the east and the south border. It's a couple blocks away from here. It is 645, right? Yes. Half a block, or not even half a block yeah. past it. 120, I'm following this blood trail. Looks like it's going to be crossing to the northeast. Oh, so let's get the north down, too. Copy, following the blood trail crossing to the northeast, the uh, north perimeter lockdown as well. This and this, what do you think? Sure. Whatever you think. Actually, perfect. 25, we can track with K9 if that's still available. Yes. Yeah, if you want to come right to the address, then. Yeah. Watch, you watch that one, I'll kind of watch this one. I don't mind. I think right up in the driveway is perfect. Okay. I'll be able to see if he crosses Iglehart. 120. And you have a moment, just reach out to the Brown West Mode, I either regions or TV United heads up in case anyone matching this description shows up the hospital. Oh, yeah. Leading pretty good. <coughs> well, this should be able to follow Copy. the blood trail. 
and information on squads that does show that a flight is available. Is there a squad that can give me phone number for contact? Twenty four hundred, we're clear. So, in case you're wondering, there's a burglary here up on Selby, 645 Selby. Actually, across the street from there, and party injured himself. So, we are sitting on a perimeter here, assuming he's now they're tracking the blood, which they ought to be able to. Hopefully, he doesn't realize he's leaving a trail. black screen for our viewers, isn't it? Well, maybe I'm, what I'm going to do, Pat. I'm gonna... moving right there, but they're going the wrong direction. Which way are they going? They're going south on Dale. Yeah. What the heck? I'm going to turn this way, just so our back seaters can look, too. Well, I don't know. Yeah, keep backing up, ahead. and I can get a good look on this. One of my parties is taking off on a bike here. <laughs> I'm following them, and we're going southbound, sorry, northbound. Okay. Northbound, are we party taking off at a bicycle, northbound, Ken? That's a different call, though. Oh, is that? Okay. Well, I don't know that for a fact, no. <coughs> Central call, I think. Just so you know, for those of you that are wondering, once in a while, if, we, if you sensed any hesitancy about us giving that poor guy a ride, it's, I, I gotta be honest, it's only because of the resurgence of COVID. And um, we've all been vaccinated, but we have a good friend of ours that works in our office that was vaccinated at the same time. And he is, <laughs> He's down with COVID again. Not again. He's down with COVID. It's one of the breakthrough cases. Anyhow, so sometimes we don't we don't like to expose ourselves to people that are <clears throat> spewing a lot, coughing, and but ultimately we just made the decision. Just, it was. The risk of leaving them there exceeded the risk of us getting sick. Flight is available. We have exactly. advised them they will be coming out. They don't have an ETA, though. With that guy's luck, he'll probably catch allergic rhinitis. <laughs> sure. So. Triple two. We're just north of... Ramsey calling, we'll be patching with Emmy Tag 2 for a squad zone of burglary, 645 Selby Avenue for a common channel between flight and officers at 12 minutes. Okay. And uh, any of you who may come across a disabled person who's been drinking and feels unsafe where they are at are free to make your own decision as to how you want to deal with that. Mm -hmm. well, one thing I'll say is I do not recommend the speedy choice cherry sours. <laughs> or something like he said, there's something not right about those things.
in case you're wondering where we're at, we're actually parked right outside the Martin Luther King Community Center here. 120. Please do the description of assessment one more time. A great resource for the neighborhood. Yeah. Martin Luther they King Center. They black male, 30 years old, thin build, wearing all dark clothing. And the truth is he's about 5'11 in height. 5'11. Got me on approximately 5'11 in height. That's our suspect we're looking for in this burglary. I wonder, he must have noticed he was bleeding and stopped the trail. Give your uh, list. Is it on A or not? No. Uh, D. Oh. Car coming. Hey, you might be calling for a ride. Mm -hmm. Not unusual. What the heck? So we got canines out. To his pet. I think so too. Gonna run right out to us. And he's probably gonna breach this perimeter, but at least we'll see him. What kind of shirt was he wearing? Just dark clothing. Thanks for joining us for extra edition of Live on Patrol Tuesday night. We appreciate your friendship. Here comes the helicopter. Yep. There's Alex, I bet. Six two two is past five nine five Selby. So working east. Got a pickup now. Past five nine five Selby working east. Car's getting repaired. <coughs> well, I could have. I suppose he could be outside this perimeter already. So remember, there's 620 numbers to a large block. Dale is 620. So if you subtract 600 back to the corner we're at, six, I mean, six, if you subtract 60 from 600, you'll get us back here where we're at at Kent, which, of course, is 560. And they're at 595 tracking east. Hopefully they won't end up tracking east of us. Then we'll become the western perimeter. <laughs> but there's another car down at McCubbin. They got cars at McCubbin too. So
Probably. So what this call originated as was a burglary of a music store where a man broke in and fled and apparently cut himself. So this guy's wanted for burglary at this moment. Wednesday the 15th tomorrow, huh? October 15th. Three, two, one, investigate. Three, two, one, go ahead. The 19th is my wedding in. We are 1345 Mississippi Street. 1345 oh, nice. Mississippi, investigate it. 20 minutes. And my friends Robbie and Jen. Three, two, one, investigate it. All Foxtrot, Foxtrot, So we're going to celebrate it together. Mine's the 18th. Nice. I knew that actually. Well, that's a good question. Three, two, one, can you Someone that? asked, think he'll end up going to the hospital. Well, the squad's on scene. Golf, Foxtrot, Foxtrot, 426. Had the dispatcher Target, notify all of the hospitals to watch for someone no. fitting this description coming in with a cut. And the most likely scenario is that uh, he did cut himself on the glass breaking in. I'll see if he could have cut himself on. Are you going for there? Not much else. Three, 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 Pat cut his finger tonight, too. Yes, I did. i got to find out what that was. I cut my finger on him. Where was it at? The back seat? Yeah, on the floor in the back seat. Can we work on keys for this burglary, please? reminds me of all the fun events that I've been here for, you know. With Jimmy Lee? Well, uh, Martin Luther, yeah, or Jimmy Lee. But Martin Luther, Martin Luther King, King, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, kind of the end of the Rondo Parade sometime. And <coughs> but I want to bring up something else. because. Rene, we'll continue. These events, you know, that bring community spirit together, they've been, they're forced now to pay really expensive fees for any policing services. Mm -hmm. In fact, the Payne okay. Avenue Harvest, the track. Harvest Fest Parade just got canceled just because they couldn't afford the bill that the city was, city was giving them. Mm. It's only like an hour long parade. But they were giving them the city. Apparently the city council passed an ordinance that they have to pay for every bit of cost. Wow. So they, they were giving them an $11,000 bill. 
It used to be three or four thousand, but it's upped it now to eleven thousand. Wow. So it just seems counterintuitive to be destroying an option for people to have, you know, community building. Mm -hmm. And there's got to be a cheaper way than eleven thousand dollars to manage a our parade on Payne Avenue, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, next year we're going to try to help at the sheriff's office and get volunteers and you know we get our ambassadors out there as volunteers and you know, there's only 20 intersections there maybe at the most but i just hate i hate it when people end up canceling festivals for yeah that for me 2400 20 the party you dropped off at allery's is called back saying it's lost requesting a return Well, I'll be in Uber tonight. We'll be down there. I'm going to tell him he has to be nicer to me this time. I'll be in Cubbon going north. Yes, sir. You want to handle that for me? You tell him. You tell him I, I sent you down there. Oh, what's his Dylan? Dylan? I. Yeah, yeah. Delisle oh, is Delisle, his last. Name. Yeah. Oh, Delisle's his left. He needs a ride. He needs a ride, but he says he has. He says he's lost. He says he's staying at Tenth and St. Peter somewhere. All right. Thank you. Well, one of our squads just volunteered to take that so we could stay oh, on the perimeter. You can tell him I'm on a perimeter of a too, so now. he doesn't get too upset. All right? Yeah, you can pull up right to the address. He could end up in detox, but okay, probably if you can find him a place to go home, that's the best. Uh, bye bye. It's on the track. <coughs> New message. New message. There's a car there. There's a phone and driver. Last word was north on the company. Oh, so they tracked him past Kent? Yeah. Oh, well, then we're, we are the western Five, three, border now, right? Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Oh, we can move over here. Checking your status on Mississippi. Three, two, one. Oh, we're going to be working west I guess we'll go back to our position. I guess so. Well, he probably made it to the freeway block bridge down on McCubbin. I think there's a bridge. Good. Awesome.
come by there. So, even though Right there, so that's really weird. You know what I'm saying? If he's if you if they tracked him on the south side of Jim, right? Dog tracking is not a perfect science. Is that on the inside or out? It's on the inside. Let's see if I can get some of that off there. Well, it's lost the Mountain Dew pet. Oh no. Be careful when you're digging down in there. Well now that I know I'm not gonna okay. dig. <laughs> You can check up to the west of like Brown and Southern and Marshall, looking on the top left corner. Okay, I see you in this area, not seeing this corner. A little bit down uh, Marshall, there was a car that was there that's uh, relatively recent gone to all of Sorry. <laughs> I don't know. Here, let me get that. Take, take a shot at that. Is, is it on the inside? This, I think certain lighting, you can really see it. I just get in front of the camera a little bit. In front of the camera is real good. I got that real good. The camera's good? Yeah. Up on Pat and threw his ashes on me when I left the <laughs> Reminds me of a movie that you're gonna have to all tell me what the movie was. I'm the, oh, that is on the outside. No, nope, it's, it's a, crazy. I think you, I think you underestimated my level of schnickiness. <laughs> Where's that from? Sir, I think you've under, underestimated my level of sneakiness. Come on. We're waiting. We're waiting on the we're waiting on our back seaters. Where's that from? <coughs> you've underestimated my sir, you've underestimated my level of sneakiness. Okay, who's gonna be the one? 113. What movie was that from? 113. Do we have any free squad that can come directly to the address so we can clear the building? The uh, inside alarm just went off again. Hmm. Maybe he's still in there. Or a second one. Is there a squad available to go to Capitol Guitars to clear the building? The alarm just went off again. Pink. Panther. No, it wasn't Pink Panther. Well, Pink although Panther. they might, Mr. Deeds. Who is that? Jordan, Jordan Neff. Mr. Deeds. Mr. Deeds. That's very good. And the actor that played in there, the actor that played the butler, was also played a prominent role in what other sci-fi series? sci-fi series and oh here here's a quiz what agency did he work for in the sci-fi series that the, he played in what agency did he work for transformers is correct eric james but what agency did he work for
Jeanette, you're right, Mr. Deeds was it, but somebody else already got that. It wasn't Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler was the main guy in Mr. Deeds. Transformers. Butler and Mr. Deeds played in Transformers, but what was the agency he worked for? I'm getting to be a little disappointed. Somebody said ATF, was no, that it? No, Sector 7, right there. Who is that? Greg, Greg Carter. Carter. Well done, Sector Greg. Sector 7, Sector 7. Sector 7. <coughs> very good, very good. Seven. So I, I mentioned to you guys that I saw this movie called Free Guy. It wasn't really a high profile. But well, we got what we got here. We got some calls. Everybody's tied up on this. So let me take a look. Where did the track head now? We'll take your call, it's a hang up <coughs> more than a half a block radius. No way to track it down. Clint Eastwood's in another movie. How old is that guy? Holy smokes. Cry Macho is the name of the mo he's, new movie. He's a 113. 113. Also, see that buses are running on so we could you just advise transit that anyone matching the description that's bleeding to let us know. Copy. <coughs> Is the track done? No, it looked like they just Probably went across that way now. Have a good night at 3220. Okay. Well, then we should go back to Martin to Eichelhart. Okay. See, police work can at times be tedious. Report writing is oh, it's time consuming as well. Clint Eastwood is ninety one. Oh so my goodness gracious! I hope I look as good as him at ninety one. No Nobody kidding. ever will. I never. I mean, even at even at thirty, I didn't look as good as him. <laughs> <laughs> But I mean, health-wise. Bob Jacobson, you know, the former chief in New Brighton. I saw him post. He's, I don't know, he's probably not as old as us, but close. Well, maybe he is, I don't know. I saw, he posted he was working out at a health club. And he, he felt good because some 20-year-old young lady came up to him and said, Boy, sure is nice to see old people like you stay in shape <laughs> I don't know if that's a compliment yeah, or kind of a backhanded uh, I don't know I, 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 I guess it's a compliment he, he took it that way but it was, I don't know if it was old people or older people but you know his wife Diane watches this once in a while but she probably keeps him in shape but uh, sure is nice to see even older people I think that would crush me. Just go back to your own treadmill, young lady. <laughs> I'm over here working on these dumbbells. <laughs> this person should be judged on their brain and their soul, don't you think? You'd think. And the 
new James Bond movie is coming out oh, next yeah. month. There's, there's a there's a somebody crossing the street with a flashlight there. Maybe he's looking for the blood trail instead of the dog trail. Yeah, uh, yeah what's what's it called again? It's it's a play on a future a past, past ones. <coughs> Name of the new Bond movie coming out, folks. What is it? No Time to Die or No Time to... So, if you just joined us late, if you didn't watch... The video that I posted yesterday about juvenile crime. And please, if you get a chance to do that, that'd be awesome. Oh, there's somebody crossing the street, but I'm assuming it's not a suspect. But Let's just see if he's got a cut hand. One thirteen inside the building clear. Inside the building clear at forty one minutes. Looking for dreadlocks, I know that. How you doing, sir? Have you seen anybody uh did you come across anybody else when you were walking? Oh, okay. Thank you very much. For me. Dim them? No, Dim them. put them on. Hi. Did you see anybody cut through the yards? Okay, thank you. privacy fences along this block. <laughs> you got any idea where the track is? No. For hundred, can we get a track update up here on Selby? Selby and Dale just checking this park out here, east of the intersection. That would be Louisiana Cafe parking lot. Checking the parking lot, Selby and Dale east of the intersection. It's going to be Louisiana Cafe. Did a full circle down Selby, up my coming back down Marshall. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I want to just want to add in the comments that that cafe does have cameras. Louisiana cafe has cameras. There's the gee 
tire store out here in Selby. Got nine squads on here. One twenty squads just wanna hang out for a couple more minutes. We're just gonna check a couple more things and we'll be done. Copy squads the whole perimeter for a couple more minutes. Downtown Peter's EOT. Have a good night. Yeah, let's go back to Edgerton. See if our friend is driving stupidly, huh? Why not? We gotta stop at Club Holiday. I actually, uh, I've been taking it really easy on the sweets lately. When I get a sweet craving, I'm having Honey Nut Cheerios. A whole Honey Nut Cheerios. Thank you. But I'm having a craving for some chocolate tonight. <laughs> Copy or, or, or maybe a donut. So I'm going to pick up something along those lines. Today. Don't say the word donut. <laughs> Copy dropping uh, past the ME TAC 2 at 46 minutes. You can have a cherry ball. Uh, that's okay. Or two. I don't want to have to have half the bag left. I don't want you to have to pull over and have me spit them out. 120, do you want me to continue to hold here for now or cancel as well? I don't think cancel there. Thank you. Dispatch canceling 10-1 at 46 minutes. Well, we got the helicopter up. So they're in that burglary scene processing the scene, so they'll recover fingerprints if they can. Any objects that can be taken to fingerprint. And uh, DNA, they'll do some DNA swabbing, see if they can get the blood. The blood is going to be outstanding DNA. Yep. You should probably see what that car's up to, huh? Sure. Code 178, I copy and route for the suspicious 963 Eichelhart Avenue. And 114, I copy and route for the hit and run 638 Edmond Avenue. Vehicle crashed into the caller's Toyota Camry. The occupants of the striking vehicle ran westbound. Unknown number of occupants. Can, 47 minutes. Can you just see how old that one is, Patrick? Maybe we'll run up there. The hit and run, it's quite old. Okay. Sorry. Okay. One thing I can take care of is a new map. This car is parked in a strange and unusual place. Not that it can't park there, but it's just very Avenue, unusual. It's parked next to a school. 17-year-old wearing a black track suit, white pants. 2,100 hours. With his lights on. The color of the glass does not be able to get dressed. I will call and see if you there. Some doors there by the school, but... I can hear you. Thank you. Foxtrot Zulu Lima, 698. It's all you. Hi, everything okay? Yeah, I'm just putting something in my GPS trying to get directions. All right, what what are you looking? Can we help you with where you're looking? I'm going to Kentucky. Oh. <laughs> a 10 hour drive. I, I can't help you with that one. All right, have a good night. So we just wanted to make sure you were okay. Yeah, I'm fine, thank you. All righty, good night.
too calm for that, though, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Well, if you're ever going to drive to Kentucky, for that matter, any place down that way, here's my recommendation. You have to leave at a time that is seven hours away from driving through Chicago when it's two in the morning and three in the morning. Midnight's okay. But if you hit Chicago after four in the morning or any time in the evening, there's only two times to go through Chicago, noon and midnight to three. <laughs> it is tough to get around that town when there's traffic. Yes, it is. So he's gonna hit Chicago at rush hour. Not a good time. It isn't gonna be good. I suppose you could go a different yep. way to Kentucky, but most people go around Chicago down to 75 through Indianapolis, Nashville. When I was younger, I used to make that trip, but on a regular basis. Steve, he's pretty sick, you know, right now. Is he? I'm worried about him. It must be that guy with the warrants who ran into the woods. Yeah, up on Kenton. Yeah. By Marydale Park, you know? 619 at Kenton. Kenton Front. Park. Yep, that's it. Copy. Trooper 9, stand by. Uh, triple 2 will have St. Paul Triple 2 will have information for you, Shirley. Nice car. Very nice car. 201 to flight. Uh, we just had a mail that ran into the lake here. You could hear him splashing around the water. We just want to check that perimeter. See if he's uh, hanging out on the edges or in the water. Well, we gotta go up on that one. Huh? Oh yeah, we gotta go. We got a guy. A guy yeah, we got him here. We'll uh, correct in here. So. A guy with some warrants. We are in charge of the water patrol. That's right. Sheriff's <laughs> office. Water patrol. Come uh, back the path to the west. You start right on the edge. There's a pending fight at the bar on Grotto. You want to go there? Is this uh, Grotto and Edmund. I don't know. 
check with your old buddies there. Yeah. Grotto and Thomas there? Yeah, it says 741 Edmund, but I think what they really mean is... Yeah, we'd, we'd let them down if we didn't go check on that one. As much as we want to see the guy splashing in the water, my car's not even going to probably stop for us. And the first group there is about the street calls. So, 741 Edmund called, says they're fighting at the bar, so it must be Willard's. Clear. Be on squad, that's so the other call, the scene, and they clear. said they're fighting at the bar. Because there's no bar in the other corner, right? Nope. Yeah, some food market. Secondhand info saying there's people fighting at the bar. Clear right. One point. Our old neighborhood, huh? Bad back on our old turf. Most definitely. A lot of fond memories. I wonder how many times this street's been paved since we started working here. <laughs> a lot. And a group that's uh, coming up to the water here as well, to the west. There was one that was up on the path that uh, was walking by the street. Clear right. Everything peaceful? What's happening? Everything peace is everything peaceful though? Hey, was there what was there a fight here or not? We'll be right back. We're gonna check out. We'll be right back. You tell us what the news is. That's I got a feeling it was guys making noise is what the deal is. Twenty-four hundred. There's no fight here. You can mark it GOA. Copy. Nobody fighting. One twenty and one nineteen. You're clear. What's going on, gentlemen? Are we rolling dice or what? Okay, but I love it. But keep the noise down a little bit, okay? You're, listen, you only cheer when you lose. You, you can't cheer when you win. <laughs> Just, just keep it down a little bit, okay? Hey. How you doing? Will you put your arms back up like that again? Because then, you know, I, I, you know, yeah, How long can you hold them up like that? For a long time. <laughs> For a long time. You must have gone to a Catholic school. Huh? You must have gone to a Catholic school. <laughs> we had to carry buckets on our hands, you know, water. Buckets of water. For a long time, I can hold these motherfuckers up. And we walked 10 miles to school in the winter uphill through the snow every day. Shit happened. <laughs> hey, these kids will never be like that. I know. And they done gave them guns, so it's like shit. Man. Now we got to figure out this shit. Yeah. Good to see y'all, though. Always a pleasure. Likewise. Have a good one, guys. Take care, man. You too, man. Stop being a super cup of game. 
What? I will. He can't fucking sue no hey, more. Hey, you're on the show right now. Oh. It's I'm like right. It's like riding a bike. Hey, I'm the king of the table. You're the right king now. of the table. By the way, I'm the king of the it's table. It's an edu right now. It's an educational broadcast. It's not a show. It's an educational broadcast. That's right. And don't forget that. That's right. <laughs> but I'll be looking for you on the table. It, or like Ed Sullivan said, we got a really, we got a really big shoe. That's right. a really big shoe coming up. That's right. really big shoe. Just a shoe. All right, take care, you guys. Later. See you later. Back to the man in the water. Did it get him yet? They might need a good swimmer. You know, you I was know, a lifeguard. I cut the radio off while we were talking. You know, I was a lifeguard. I know you. Don't see any other items in wrong room, sir. Silver Lake, North St. Paul. The latest update is. Oh, they didn't lose him, did they? Because he's in the water two minutes ago. Well, we got to so, get him. Yeah, so they must still be trying to get yeah, him out yeah. of the water. Check out the patch with any tech. Oh, they got him. University in North Park came out with one. I think that water was kind of chilly today. Well, it's got to be down to like 65 to 70. I don't know. That's pretty cold. Anything under 70 is not too pleasant. No. No. Well, to be honest with you, anything under 80 is not pleasant. <laughs> the more acceptable, tolerable is okay. But... Well, I should sure go for a John's Pizza. I like John's Pizza. Oh no, we got another guy not complying. Well, I'm 13, I'll turn that way. Where's that 1305 uni? Yeah, we still have to eat not oh, Thing is, everybody wants to see a, guy, a wet guy that jumped out of Low Blake, right? Oh, yeah. Firing Minds want to know. Kind of a crazy guy runs into Low Blake. Even I want to know. Is that a wet person? I'm seeing. Look at that. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna turn the lights off for you guys. So. How's that? <laughs> He's wet. He's definitely wet. We got a trooper on the ground, too. Poor guy. Oh, he's got to be cold. Well, well, at least it's... Not freezing out here. Yep. They're gonna bring a squad down to put him in there. Is there a tree over there? Or am I good? You're good. Good. So. <coughs> Had some warrants. Hey, 120, where you at? Ran into the. 266. Hamlet University. I don't think I'd run into a lake in this weather. Spot. No. Hey. 
Okay. 1666 Wanda Street, area check on a suspicious color heard the vehicle getting towed and caused the flashing light. He looked like he was shivering. Yes, he did. Gone. She's heard question in area check. Her dad and there was no He had a backpack with him, too. Right. That would be reason number 433 not to commit crimes and get warrants out for you for your arrest. Maybe in July and August you can jump into the lake and hide, right? <laughs> Breathe through a straw. One person can close for it. Close for it, Wild Five. I mean, they're, I guess if it was warm enough, the theory would be they're not actually going to come out and get me, right? He had a inflatable life jacket or something. All in all, <coughs> relatively quiet night, actually, right, for a Tuesday? Yeah. I mean, nothing big, but there, there was there's a good bit going on, I think. Oh. We're going to go back to the east side, and we're going to find that stolen Versa before we go home. It is 56 degrees outside. thinking about how times have changed a little bit, you know. Of course, we've been around for a long time. But... 559 Capitol Boulevard, the Dunstan Hospital, the DOC. Male trespassing is lasting in front of the address. The black male, 45 years old, 5'11", thin bills, wearing all black clothing, possibly intoxicated. Do you know, you know men, when they put swimsuits on nowadays, they wear modest swimsuits, right? Mm -hmm. Look like long shorts, right? Right. But you remember back in the 70s, they all wore Speedos, right? Yeah, uh, emphasis on they. <laughs> no, really. One for ten. I mean, Claire, was... could you put me back out on bird? All right, bear your soul yeah. here. Were you a Speedo guy? Well, I'm not a Speedo. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was a lifeguard, you know. We all wore modest Speedos back then. <laughs> Yeah, I guess you did now that you mentioned it. Back then I didn't have an ounce of fat on me though. But you know, still I I, I think I think the modest swimsuits are the way to go even today now, right? Yeah. You know the French you ever go anywhere, the French wear those speedos still, right? Yes they do. The, I think the Italians too. But they keep wearing them until they're our age. <laughs> <laughs> a couple times I've been to Disney and see 55 year old guys at Speedos. A few years ago, I, I'm sure you'll remember this. There was a great, I think it was a Corona commercial, where let's say a huskier fellow. Don't even. You know, I, certain images I don't want to remember. Was wearing a speedo, yeah. and he was walking down the beach Coffee like he night. owned it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The times they are changing. Let's, yes, indeed. Well, let this car go because you know I hate people crossing on insignificant streets. Now he's going to turn. He was stern. Okay. He did it. So. This other one here that I want to catch there. So, 
hopefully we didn't lose any back seaters on the switch over to the different transmission. It is a work night for people. We will be back Friday night at uh, 9-11. Hope you can join us. Maybe try to squeeze one daytime route in. You know the ref spotted a burning car. You know yeah. Guy. Yeah, I saw that. Where'd that car go? Oh, crap. What's the part? Squad 119. Let's go out and do a assist on that DOC, 1921 okay. Peronia Avenue. Caller was saying they want our female removed, then it was an open line with people arguing and disconnected, and no answer on callback. It was silver, I so thought. 117 at Coffee and Road as well. I hate when that happens. There's got to be one of these cars on your left. Oh, right. oh yeah, somebody's getting out right there. Oh, there we go. Did you, um, let's talk about that uh, deal in North St. Paul with the uh, stolen <coughs> car and the burglary last night. Are you up to speed on that? North St. Paul. Here I got, let me get the book flyer. I got the flyer in the back seat. Okay. <coughs> I got cased the house during the day and came back and fired 19 shots. Really? Nine, yeah, 19, 19 rounds. We're going to go out there. Uh, here it is right here. You can read that over there yet, man. I'll let Pat give the details, but the long and the short of it is a homeowner on Charles and Margaret confronted a guy in the car, in his car in his driveway, and the guy fired 19 rounds. Okay, this is in the 2200 block of Charles Street in North St. Paul at uh, last night at about, okay, let's go, I'm going to go back. Sure. At about 2.40 in the afternoon, this would have been, okay, we are, so this would have been Sunday, right? Uh, no, I think so, it was Monday. Yeah, Monday. How's everyone? Good? Out yeah. uh, walking your cat? No? Uh, it's great, I guess. Please walk outside. Yeah. So at about 2.40 in the afternoon, this would be on Monday, so a tall male wearing a light-colored hooded sweatshirt, long black sweatpants, and shoulder-length dreadlocks was riding a bicycle past the victim's home. Now at later that the, night there's a picture of the of the of the person in there. Yeah. Later that night at about eleven thirty last night, North St. Paul officers were sent to a report of suspicious activity. For an unknown male spotted inside the vehicle of the complainant. When the vehicle owner confronted the suspect, the suspect fled towards House Park and fired multiple shots at the victims, striking their vehicle and home and nearly striking the victims. He then fled the area and has not been apprehended. That's a scary incident, right? That's terrifying. Well, that's a picture. We got a picture of him at night and then we got a picture of him in the day. I guess they could tell from the ring doorbell audio that it was 19 rounds. Wow. So we're going to head out there and show you about where it was. Just when you think North St. Paul is just a sleepy little community, 
Oh, and they recovered the bike. Mm hmm. Well, hopefully get some prints or some DNA off it. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, that's pretty scary. When the run, when the guy's firing rounds at your house for catch, for catching him being inside your car. Right. That's a bad dude. Yeah, that's a dangerous dude. Two six six. Put my back in the pending, and I'll be around to two twenty. Very, very. Dangerous dude. New message. New message. Point How'd that go? Where'd you drop? <coughs> okay. Oh, thank you. Well, you wanted to be back in the squad. It's, you know. Simple. You, yeah, you don't need to. I'm just letting you know where we're, we're going. You know, east side, BP. Just hang BP east side. You know, just find that, find that Versa. All right, bye. Man, I have that puck ready, shouldn't I? Is saying the email has since left and no longer requesting That would 
looks like that could be. Okay. What kind of supposed to be? Avenger. Wrong plate, but I want to run it. Yeah. Talking to the car, message. guy in the red car truck here. Yeah, but like that is exactly what we're looking for. Uh, hang on. Okay, let's uh. Well, you sure that one is? Yep. Block him right now. 2400. I'm gonna block him. He's not in the car right now. No, he's gassing it up. He was getting out of it. Look at the BP White Bear in Maryland. What we believe to be a stolen. So this is a backup. Mike Whiskey November 768. He's pumping gas. Which BP? White Bear, Maryland. Didn't I say that? Left back from White Bear, Maryland, BP. <coughs> Alright. Copy, 10 3. 300 and off. 373 trim trip. I'm going to do this. Yep, yep, yep. Hi. Police, put your hands in a car. He's running, he's running, he's running. White male occupant running northeast from us. East on Maryland. 25 year old male, long brown hair. Bandana. Bandana. White t shirt. White t shirt. Let me grab the flight keys. Yeah. Five-year-old male, long brown hair, standing on a white shirt. Six one nine, he's there. Let me get a call. Get a firm girl. Yeah, we've lost sight of him, but uh, he went east from here. Probably about six foot tall. White, White male. Huh? You said that. What? You yeah, said that. I know. Yeah, I said that. What the hell? No keys in it, so I think we kind of got to. Three one eight for pending. We'll take that. Well, I, I'm almost glad that we didn't end up wrestling him. I, and, I, and he didn't get in the car, right? Huh? At least he didn't get in the car. Yeah, true. <laughs> you weren't really going to try to chase him, were you? <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I just wanted to get close enough to hose him down. <laughs> yeah, was he on the north side of the street or the south side when he was running? Yeah, we're not sure because we're on the southwest corner of the building. He just talked to the northeast and then down Maryland. We'll get good video here. I'm sure we can probably identify him at some point. So that police thing didn't really work too good. <laughs> <laughs> Wish you'd have waited about three more seconds. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I didn't want to put you in that spot. Well, he was looking right at us when you got out. <laughs> I didn't think he was going to run. Is everything good? Yeah, it's a stolen car. Hey, Alex? 
Pat, take Alex in, go get the video of him. Put it on your phone. Oh no no. But but go Pat, go go show him the who's on the video inside. I I, I sacrificed the sneakiness because I didn't want to Yeah, I didn't want him to jump in the car and Three seven three. I'll take Marilyn and Hazel. Copy Marilyn Hazel. One twenty five. Three two seven uh, six one nine. Are you able to track on this? Copy. Any squads on scene that are able to track with them? 318. Copy. 318. Cover. 136. Pat 327. I'll be setting up. Magnolia, Hazel area. Copy of Magnolia, Hazel. Hey, we're Canada, yeah, cover. Yeah. Copy. Well, here we are. We just, uh, I'll show you the car. Three to nine with information. Three to nine. Anyhow, here's the car. Yeah, Maryland and Van Dyke, homeowner came out from about 1840 Maryland area, said, no, I'll mention that exact description, ran behind his house in that open field. Um, so. Yes. Copy, yeah, uh, he ran less than five minutes ago. He's on 1840 towards 373 location in that field. Three seven three, you copy? Yeah, I'm gonna wind it out a little bit then. You see the picture of Alex? Yeah. Three two seven. I just had somebody in a white shirt run at the path back here, Hazel, Magnolia area. In the description. It's going to be a white male, 25 years old, bandana, white shirt, approximately six foot tall. I'm going to push this to the squad right now, I'll picture it. Go again? Let's meet up at a future night location. We're real tough scene. Got it. Tom, I'm going to send you a picture of this guy here in a second on the MGT. Got it. 329, where was that last location? In the path near Hazel, Magnolia. I don't think he's from this neighborhood. Got it. We're at Van Dyke in Maryland. He was last seen behind 1840 running in that field. Why 
Okay, you want to just go there then, 619? Affirmative. Three through seven. At the walking path here at Hazel Magnolia, south of 373's location, about a minute ago I had a uh, white shirt run westbound from this location. It's not able to get a good description. Um, there's also Minnesota 848 Victor Bravo Yankee at this location occupied times two that I'm going to be speaking with. Copy one minute ago, uh, the walking path south of 373's location would be Marilyn Noella. Saw a subject wearing a white shirt. Uh, westbound. I just didn't want him jumping in that car. Oh, no. Yeah. It, it, That binging that you heard, that was a CAD telling us there's an alert. There might be a neighbor on a moped that's going to go back on the path and look for him. He's a regular up here at the gas station, but the neighbor doesn't have a white shirt on. He's not the suspect on the moped. 6'2", 220. Yeah. Is that your boy? 2400 copy. Yeah. A neighbor on a moped will be going oh, on a walking path oh, yeah. looking for the suspect. Okay. Yeah. And 2400, uh, there's a driver's license in the car here, left at the car, under the name of James Ryder. The address on the license is 1621 East Rose. Looks to be our suspect, in case he tries to double back across Wiper Avenue. 312, What'd you say? She's going to the Rose address. She's going to the Rose address. Copy and Route 1621 Rose Avenue. Love it when a criminal drops his driver's license. Yeah. They're getting the dog out, so I don't want to interfere with Smart. the dog. Smart. Thank so you. Thank I you. I just wanted to offer my services. I told them the you were light. coming. Did right. they tell you the dog's come out? They said the dogs are going there, so okay. I really hope you guys get them. Good. Thank you. All right. Good luck. Have guys. a good night. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Absolute video. I mean, getting out of the car too, or I mean, I'm assuming we didn't did. get to that point. I saw him getting out of the car. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm trying to go back to get it tomorrow or something. Go get my snack now for later. Can you give me one? What do what, you get? What do you want? Want a cherry pie? No, I'm all, I'm cherried out. As you can tell by these cherry balls. Apple pie? Twinkie? No, I'll come in with you. All right. Alex, you watch the car.
<laughs> I know you did. I the second I heard the dinging and I was talking to Miller and I go, I gotta go. Man, there's a back seat full of people here. I don't gotta watch this squad car. Very 1012. Copy, is that right for the boss? You can uh, clear this one by this central, and then I'll take the other cup as well. Received, not in custody. We're working on that part. Squad 2756. 2756, go ahead. Just for officers on this perimeter, he's got an active 89 for fleet plates in the motor vehicle. Copy, suspect is there for four. Three one eight, we're starting the track. Starting the track. One three seven. Thanks, Alex. Hey, Alex, can you have Emrick run his crim history? I can run it right now, John. Pull it quick. Well, I'll just find out what level of danger we're dealing with. He's got a flea warrant right now. He, he, in a car? Yeah. Well, good thing we didn't let him in then. But see if he's got anything else. Yep, I'll run Thank you. So, this guy already has an active felony warrant for fleeing police in a motor vehicle. So we had a few options there. 
Turns out how to handle them. I want to look at these people right here. I think this woman might have patted him on the rear end when she, they were in the store. What's his first name? James. Can I ask her if she knows him? Just ask her if she was just in the gas station. You guys know James? The guy in the gas station? Well, the ladies, weren't, wasn't, wasn't, weren't, wasn't you, weren't you in the gas station? Okay, you were in the other car or what? Yeah. She patted him on the rear end. But you seem to know him. You seem to know that big white guy. Hang on a second. Yes. some drugs in the car when you search it. Yeah, all right. Thanks, buddy. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye. Uh, bye. You're waiting for him. Yeah, maybe. Not against the law, but... <laughs> the car was stolen. Just so you know. The guy was... The guy had been in to pay for the gas and he came back out to the car and he was putting the gas in. So the dilemma was, do we let him, do we wait for backup? My, my fear of waiting for backup is that he was gonna put the, hang the pump up, get in the car and then take off on a high speed chase or smash us in the lot. We wanna avoid chases as much as possible. Well, if he knows his area, he's going to go down on that railroad tracks in front of us there, Pat. Mm -hmm. And work his way back to his house. So the car was stolen on August 23rd from Blaine. See down the tracks very well from right there. No, we're gonna go inside the, the street. Oh, the other side of the street. My wife fell asleep, so she's not gonna tell me not to chew. <laughs> Just kidding, honey. We got video there. We got we got eyes on. We got his driver's license. Yep. So now he gets to have a new felony warrant out for his arrest if they don't get him tonight. But I think they're going to get him tonight. You got his phone too, right, Pat? Those people are gone already. Yeah, I know. You got his phone? Alex does. Yeah, but I mean, you you picked it out of the car. So. Yep. That's going to be tough to explain. So. How is it down there? Someone's sitting on it. We're still tracking eastbound through the field. Still tracking eastbound to one. Yep, the car is going to be towed. And it'll be processed. Alright, alright, alright. Let's see what we got for Pam. 
Yeah. <laughs> Ah, somebody had the same idea as us. Avenger. Oh, what kind of car we got? A Durango. Well, let's see what it can do. Ready? That looks like it really narrows down up there. <laughs> see what I'm talking about? Yeah. Hop in. We gotta go find this guy. Those of you that have ridden with us for a while know that we've taken the Durango on some good adventures. So this is going to be another one. <laughs> After all, it is a Durango. You should probably put your seatbelt on in case I tip it. <laughs> <laughs> and you check for rocks in here, right? Oh, there's plenty of rocks, but they're not giant ones. Like that last time. Oh, there's a ditch there. Did I mention the ditch? <laughs> Ooh. 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 It's a Durango. Spare tire after the last time. See, these roads are made so these railroad guys can supervise them. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least we don't have to turn around. <laughs> <laughs> most important part right here where we can see him right here oh hold on hold on what oh, i thought it was a bottle it's not so that we were going to run over or that we were going to that we were going to run over
Yeah. What? I think it gets kind of narrow. Up oh, there. for crying out loud. Count right, clear right. You're just mad because there's no intersections. <laughs> Dodge Durango. Hang on, I gotta make a call and ask. I gotta ask if. Um, hang on a second here. Do you see anything out there? Nope. I'm gonna watch in the river. What's really bad? No. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> uh, okay. We're gonna find this guy. We're gonna seal off the southern. Well, your backing up skills are going to be uh, put to the test. I don't think I have enough room to turn around. <laughs> Remember that railroad tour we took you guys on? Well, this was not on the tour. No, it was not. I said, rut roll. <laughs> <laughs> okay, show me. Well, there's, oh, he could have taken that walk bridge. I forgot about that. There's a problem for us. There's a walk bridge up above he could have taken. Highway now. Oh, this is better. Somebody mowed the grass too. I'm gonna stay here for a minute. Let's see if we got a spot or anything. Kind of. I think in addition to uh, an LPR, yeah. I think you should. Uh, Get infrared in here too. Infrared what? Uh, like a viewing system. Like FLIR. Yeah, but like just so we can look out through the window or you mean like a drone FLIR? Have a camera in the grill going to a screen on the dash. By the way, that ding you kept hearing in the car, that was the computer telling us it was a stolen. The last update is 10 minutes ago, still tracking eastbound. Well, thank goodness we're going to be able to turn around anyways. Well, we're going to get out the other end, Pat. Oh, there's a way out the other end? Well. You'll make a way out. That's 
We were driving a Durango. <laughs> Scare him back. Did you see that look in his face for that instant of a second? Am I really gonna run? Yeah. <laughs> you how saw long, that too. How huh? long would you think that was? It was like it wasn't very long. No. trying to acquire the track here we're going. Uh, I don't know how it is, but yeah, almost to Maryland Hazel. We're gonna check eastbound on Maryland. Okay. Three one eight. Are you familiar with that walk bridge that goes over the tracks there? Yeah, we had a good track through the field and then lost it, so we're going to see if he kind of came back towards Maryland and then ran up to that trail. I'll see if we can pick it up there. Do you think those are old tracks there, Pat? There's some history there, right? Mm-hmm. I think I better get out and examine the surface. What do you think? <laughs> I think you should. I think you will, no matter what I say. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you ever watch those old movies where the wagons were headed to the west coast and they got over the mountains and they saw the coast? Yes. That's kind of what it's like, right? <laughs> See your homeland. was in pretty good shape. a little too spry for me. Where does that go? Anywhere? Nope. Well. What if he stole another car and uh, picked up his girlfriend and friends on the corner there. Hey, your job is to find an exit over there. Okay. There's got to be something with all this traffic for a truck to leave. I think, he's, I think he's going back home. Just got to secure that house. It's just a matter of how he's going to get there. Right. 113 is back. 
Oh, there's the way out, Pat. <laughs> there's the way out. 114. Well, I don't think we're gonna. Seven two zero I don't think we're gonna make it. I don't either. Okay, we'll be to Let's see what we got here. Information is lost. Channels one and two are tied. It comes with two for a break. Information at two o'clock. Three one eight. We're heading south on the path, crossing the tracks. Heading south on the path, crossing the tracks. South on the path, crossing the tracks with the canine. Yep. Well, probably cross. You mean the, you mean the, the bridge? He said the path. Yeah. Well, we should go back that way then, anyhow, huh? Yeah. Even though I was going to try to go over that track. Yeah, I'm glad you're not. That might have been a little too much for even the Durango. We would have had to balance that left tire up on that <laughs> left beam. Oh, here comes a train. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's stay off the track till the train's done. All right. <clears throat> <clears throat> Watching. I think that was it right there. Well, Bob's out exploring. I swear he knows every nook and cranny in this town. I thought I knew my way around this town until I started riding with Bob. There's a man who knows his way around town. Pretty sure we can make it. <laughs> These are pretty good. Oh, this is one of those things I think that checks the tracks. Taking a left, 539. Bill Tech? Nope, nope, it's a plane. Oh, 
hope we can see if he's riding it. He's <laughs> West 539 from 65, speed to 70. 603, look at your map. See if you can uh, get up ahead of us. Yep, I'm just heading north on uh, the gauge Wrap it up. Will you make a swing by the MH? Yeah. We're not ready yet, are we? No. No. I think this guy's still going to get caught yeah. tonight. Again, the trip back always goes faster than the trip out. Yeah, now we gotta figure out how to get over that hill. Ah, it'll be easier going over it than it was coming down it, I'll bet. Yep, you got this. I'm not 100% sure. Back toward County 8. Are you, uh, can you put it in four wheel drive? All four wheel drive? Definitely faster is better than slower, right? <laughs> right? To an extent. I mean, get the momentum going up the hill, right? 318, we're checking the wooded area just uh, west of 327. We're approaching County 8. You did it. Easy peasy. And he's in reverse. Cobb's checking the wooded area just west 
If we would have beat the train, we wouldn't have this problem. Jackie station is Oh, it really sucked him. We saw his feet running away from us on the other side of the train. <laughs> well, that was a good field trip. Yeah. Are we thinking anything? <laughs> you often take me somewhere I've never been. Well... If you did cross the tracks, we would be up ahead of here. Working his way back. <coughs> yeah, if he knows that path, that's probably... Three one eight, you can clear the trainer. Why don't you go the other way, and uh, you can come out that way if you take the dirt. Copy. Squad the trainer can clear. Uh, three one eight, can clear the aerosol. Oh man. Turn it. Gentlemen, thank you. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's the bridge up there. Just to be a logical way for him to go. Mm -hmm. Here we thought he was gonna walk across the bridge, walk across the tra tracks. Blueberries. What about blueberries over there? From some plastic for the EMG. Happy to have a good night. Bravo 7, Bench 6, 213. Obviously, can we stay in with anybody? Well, we didn't get the stolen, but we got a stolen. Well, I don't know who he is. That's the beauty of that. Drop your wallet with your driver's license in it when you're fleeing. That's that beauty.
Bet he never leaves his phone in the car again. Thanks Hi, Sarge. Hey, thanks, buddy. Which one is it? What? No, which house? Uh, give it five more. Do it. And then, and then uh, five more, and then we'll. And a cheese dog? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Stop. There's another train going the other way. On our tracks. Happy, have a good night, 378, 218. 383, EOT. Copy, at 219. So much for our early night. That'll be six hours pretty soon, won't it? Yep. Oh, man. 327, I copy your route to 6th Street East and Canard on the fireworks north of the intersection at 219. Speedway, can we go to Speedway instead of M&H? Sure. Maybe we'll run into another stolen up there. <laughs> tell you, that, that BP there is like a fishing hole. It is something, isn't it?
light up the red report. Oh yeah. At least you don't have to write a pursuit report. Thanks. Always look for the silver lining. Yeah. Control 2. Control 2. Report 9 County, Central K9. Copy, 220. It's good you got his phone. Some other personal belongings in there too. Car was stolen from Blaine on August 23rd. Isn't that something? Just keep, Three weeks. Just keep floating around with a stolen car. <coughs> I wonder how many times it's run from the from the cops. Well, I think the amazing thing is the, the the plates are still on there. I mean, I know. You, were, you were thinking that maybe their plates were changed from the other car you were yep, looking for. Yep, exactly. That's why I wanted to run it. Yeah. Match that car. <coughs> well, we were on our way to North St. Paul to talk about And then we were sitting here thinking about going to North St. Paul. Ah, we better check those two cars. <laughs> The little, the little decisions we make that uh, lead to other things. smash our car mm -hmm. and flee so it was just not yeah i mean we know who he is he's now going to have another felony warrant out for his arrest it's all good <coughs> we got somebody's car back yeah. and it's not smashed up It's got 15 bucks worth of gas in it. There you have it. <laughs> that, wall, that wall was made out of $100 bills. You, know, you saw that? Yeah. Uh, they were slightly larger than the bills. <laughs> but when I first saw it laying there, I thought, oh. Well, he left a few hundred yeah, bucks laying around. A few bucks laying on the ground. great if he was here in the next car he stole, gassing it up. Yeah, that'd be fun. Where is all of everybody? This is strange. Well, it is later than usual. Go in here. Well, hopefully it's open. I'm going to check around the outside of the old Durango. Make sure we didn't cause any surface scratches. <laughs> we'll be back with you in a couple minutes, folks. Oh, hang on. This radio. Scanning. Van Buren, Victoria. Copy checking Van Buren, Victoria. 
119, what's the address for line two caller? The line two caller was 827 Thomas. Thank you. You're welcome. Seventy-eight twenty-six. Seventy-eight twenty-six. I'll be giving a courtesy ride to an adult male from my call location to thirteen fifty-two Seventh Street. I might need a wash. Two twenty-six. Forty nine George Judy C D P for the caller's ex on the property trying to rip open the door and throwing things at the windows. He is Robert Falvey wearing a white t shirt and blue jeans. Two twenty seven. Three two seven, copy and route nine ten Forest Street and Fireworks area check at two twenty nine.
2756. 2756. This will be a report, 2400, 300, K9 and east. Thanks guys for the help. Copy, clear report at 231. Seventy-one twenty-seven, seventy-one oh eight. Three two one. Three two one. One forty-seven, Mariah, and a disturbance. Vehicle alarm continues to sound. Ongoing issue in the area. Minnesota license nine three seven Tango Whiskey Hotel. On a blue Honda CRV. <laughs> That's funny. Zero. Two thirty-two. <laughs> 7826 arrived. 232. <coughs> oh. Okay then. Well, that's this way. Um So let's just drive out to North St. Paul. And see where that uh, robbery was. One two six. One two six. HQ with evidence. Copy two thirty three. I got a feeling we're going to see that, see Robert at the BP again. James, you mean, right? Is that his first name? Yeah, yeah. James. James. That's Robert Ryder. into a much longer night than we thought it was going to, didn't it? Well, there's a good bit going on. <coughs> so that speedway we were just in is where, when we weren't live last week, Bob and I came across uh, three guys in another stolen vehicle. And when we looked at the surveillance tape later, it looked like they were uh, eyeballing another car they were planning on jumping into and taking. No doubt. But they took off on foot and some North St. Paul and Maplewood officers quickly rounded them up, recovered some drugs from one of, that one of them had thrown in a sewer. Yeah, right here, Ripley. Yep. That went down in the sewer. <laughs> no, a very, a very fit North St. Paul officer went down in that He sewer. did actually climb down in that sewer. Yeah, he sewer did. Sewer and recover a bag of meth yep. that the other officer had seen him throw in there. That was some dedication. I'm telling you. Good thing the meth was there because the next thing was searching a, a foot and a half. Uh, string. Or real thin rope just for things like that. <coughs> 5183 cars clear fast. 236. 
That was a good ham and cheese sandwich. For one five two. It's always good there. You know, Speedway really hires some personable staff. Very, very friendly folks. Aunt Felicia. The manager there, a night manager, I think, 31 years old. She was top notch, right? <coughs> Very much so. 31 years old, what, 19? Yeah. <laughs> I told her she's going to get carted until she's 60. She was trying to get the young man there to work as hard as her. Yep. But not sure if that's possible. All right. We're seeing Paul Parade. Thursday night. Not this Thursday, next Thursday. North St. Paul High School. Yes. We used to hang, hang downtown here in the old days. Four four seven eight. Four four seven eight. You can change to a DOA. Well, I almost got hired here. I got—I was offered a job. I think I might have mentioned it. I was offered a job here. North St. Paul PE. Right after I got hired with St. Paul. Hmm. 1977. We're glad you came to St. Paul. Well, thank you. Well, you, we are in the 2200 block of Charles. <coughs> We're not going to show you the exact house. But this is the street. And this is the park that the suspect ran to. Firing 19 shots. Unbelievable. Toward the owner. Very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. And 
The worst charge he was likely facing was some kind of trespassing. So obviously drugs can complicate a person's thinking. My old friend Greg Bauer used to live right over here in high school. Drive around it one more time. It's for old memories. He was a lineman on the football team. And I think. Uh, Megan Schaefer, who handled our grants, they live right out here somewhere too. I forget which house they're in. Nice park, though. Mm-hmm. It's good that cities preserve these parks. Upgraded the swing set since I was here. <laughs> One thirteen, two seventy, Charles. Copy on squad to assist in the DOC, sixteen thirty two Charles <laughs> Avenue for male outside yelling that he wants to kill people. Sitting on the front steps, white male, 26 to 30 years old, six foot, thin build, wearing a blue jacket, skinny jeans. He did point his finger as it was a, like it was a gun at the cop while he was across the street. 114. 243. Someday we will have to do like a 12 hour marathon. We did one. Did we? Yeah, was it, did it we was. It, I think it, what, I think it was like eleven and a half or something. Yeah, eleven and a half. Sure this used to. Do about 911 at 545. Somebody on uh, our back seaters, they might know, but there used to be like a 5 and 10 Ben Franklin here. I think, I think this, this love star, that was the 5 and 10 of the Ben Franklin. Look it's back further. 5 and 10 are Ben Franklin on uh, 7th Street, or St. Paul 7th Road. Avenue in North St. Paul. Right there. Village, Village pizza. pizza. I think that's really good. It's great. They got a great pizza there. Thank <coughs> you. Well, well, this used to be the catering place, but is it still? What's it say up there? Yeah. KG Catering. Quality catering. Oh, someone says village village pizza is in their DNA. Village pizza is amazing. New, Newman's Bar and Grill. The place. oldest operating bar in Minnesota. Yeah. There is no other bar that has been open longer than Newman's Bar. And if you come up here for the car show on Fridays, stop into Newman's. Great spot. But finish with the village pizza. <laughs> this, this is all new over here. I like North Seven. Used to be Lily Suburban newspapers right there. They went out of see. They went out of business. It was one of the best.
best local newspapers in town. It's quite some development here, huh? Yeah. We just hired a new deputy from North St. Paul. <coughs> Joe, sharp guy. Joe Odegaard, really sharp guy, nice person. Did a great job out at the fair. Yeah. White Bear and Ripley, Minnesota Foxtrot Tango Delta 745. That's Alex. Like Aaron, Delta. Like Aaron, Ripley, Pack, 247. There's a Crittenden Memorial there. Killed in a domestic situation. One fourteen arriving. There's no one outside Kimball Car. Don't forget the North St. Paul snowman. Copy. World renowned. There he is. Never melts. Found on Margaret at 15th Avenue. St. Peter's School and Church. One, one of my kids went there. The 17th Avenue that we're coming up to right here, when you get to uh, Maplewood, turns into County Road C. Cedars lives right across the street from Carrying Silver Lake Park. Oh, that's right. I don't know if he'll still be awake. But but Later at night, we get to we get to uh, Melden, Lee, Monfort, we get to drive around in some of these suburbs because it slows down. Mm -hmm. Silver Lake Park. Some people out walking at two, 10 to 3. What's going on, guys? Just walking? Pokemon? Oh, yeah, I like that. All right, have a good one. Looking for Pokemons. Northbound Pine from 27th, there's a cop alert on the vehicle involved in a strong arm robbery. We get going north, north We're going eastbound uh, 29th from Penn. Eastbound 29th from Penn, 30 to 6, can we get air, uh, air support? And information about the Minnesota Star Sun Service Avenue number 5. Help me leave the guys in the ambulance and we'll check on air support 250. Maybe Robbinsdale? Copy, southbound at 250. 1264, I'm going to help. 326. It's got a cops alert on it for something. James, yes. Strong arm robbery. Okay. Well, usually they've been
bail out over there and run to a house. Mm -hmm. Street 17, I'll have to tell you on that whole side. Small 64, it's a vehicle description. It'll be a black newer model, four door sedan. Lost sight of on the ass, still sight of the on it. I just got him westbound 26 from 10. Westbound 26 from 10, 252. Oh, that's round, so it could be. I'm gonna be going northbound 81 right, from 26. I'm gonna block behind him here. Northbound 81 from 26 at 252. I want to acknowledge. 640 went northbound. I think it's going to be Russell. I'm one block over. I'm going to try to parallel him here. See if I can find him again. Copy northbound, possibly on Russell at 252. I think he's going to be northbound Russell from Lowry. He's going to be black Dodge Charger. Northbound Russell from Lowry, black Dodge Charger, 253. See Minneapolis is getting pretty close. We're still northbound. Doesn't sound like they're rushing. Crossing 34th. It's going to be eastbound 35th oh, from yeah. Russell. Copy, he's on 35th from Russell, 253. And we're going to be crossing Penn, still he's on 35th from Penn. Crossing in. And our toll 64, the vehicle I was chasing was not a charger. Oh, wow. I was in the one area. Southbound Morgan from 3-5. Looks like he's going to be going eastbound. Nope, still southbound through 34th. See a car over behind Pittsburgh. And looks like it's going to be eastbound 33rd from Morgan. And I lost sight of him here. I think he took the alley. He went southbound in the alley, Logan. Uh, Logan to Morgan. Three seven feet I got their cell phone in the alley. Did dark out. I got him again. Cell phone Logan. Crossing 30th. Crossing 29th. He's going back westbound. Westbound 29. Westbound 29. And I lost him again here. I think he went, kept going west, I think. Cell phone in front of me, cell phone. I don't want to run him on. No, he's signaling to go westbound. Went westbound at the stop sign. I'm not sure what it is. is 26, like maybe? He went westbound 26, and I lost him. Like well, six cars should be popping out at nine, girl. Still, Wait, uh, uh, he's coming back at you. Twelve oh six. How are we doing on flight? That's why I'm westbound on two seven, but I'm not sure. A couple of Minneapolis squads in the area here. Possibly the westbound on 27th and flight coming from Lakeville will be a delay. Oh. Oh, okay. 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 Okay.
Steve. Mel Finastoli have received a well, we the vehicle. Copy, no vehicle found the suspect inside the vehicle. Copy, no vehicle found the suspect inside the vehicle. Copy, no vehicle found the suspect inside the vehicle. Copy, no vehicle found the suspect inside the vehicle. Copy, no vehicle found the suspect inside the vehicle. Copy, Taco Bell. Information of Bigfoot Squad Medic are responding to 1299 Earl Street North Upper Unit for 71 year old male conscious and breathing with rectal bleeding at 3 o'clock. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that day. You know? Control 6, uh, 2081 is clear on the way down here. M3300 is set up on 81 watch. Tuck them in. 1264, I've checked the alleys from Lowry 
all the way, or from 26 all the way up to 29th. All the way over to Newton and Morgan, and I'm not too. 3817, I copy, I'm checking as well. We can probably clear the main if no one's finding anything. Dispatch copies. We zoom in the wrong traffic on Law 1 and drop in the patch with Alpha 1. Mm -hmm. Information on 72 hour pickup and hold. Issued by Smudge 627 for domestic abuse in violation of OFP that occurred at 160 Western Street. We don't work till 3 that often. January 17th, 65. Nope. 199 pounds of blackmail. I'm going to head home. It's going to take one more trip by Rice Street. Mm hmm. A lot going on tonight. For a Tuesday? Mm hmm. Well, would have been more if it was tomorrow because that would be home day. <laughs> suspicious that he came our way. Yeah, well he didn't though. Oh. Avenger Knight from Blaine.
New message. New message. New message. You notice how low her voice is when she's talking or yelling, but when she came by us, it was like, yeah. So, <laughs> hi. All sweet. <coughs> got sunglasses on now? We might have a cigarette for you. Sure. You're welcome. Later. Oh, you motherfuckers do be having cigarettes for me. <laughs> Love you guys. Clear. Closing up the town, Patrick. Yep. Holy oh, boy. Only one thing left to do. <coughs> that is? Take Cayuga to the east side and spot a stolen on the way home. <laughs> of course. And at some point on the way home, oh, where we, we can going? make one more stop at, at any kind of convenience store. Think this home. one's open? I uh, don't. If they're back to we'll go hours. for m &H. That'd be great. You're so easy going. I try. That's good. Well. I'm not really that tired. I'm not that funny. <laughs> yes, sir. What? Oh, perfect. Perfect. Is that is there a call or is it impending or? Give me the address again. I think I remember it, but I don't want to repeat it live. Okay. All right. Thank you. What, what kind of car is it? Squad 113 advised you can send me an Aurora. Oh, Darren's headed there too. Copy on AOA to check the address for a stolen vehicle out of Scott County, C1A, 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 uh, one sec here. Zero two five X Z E. Isn't it wonderful? You got enough cigarettes to last? Throw this. Do you have enough cigarettes to last for this chase? Oh yeah. Do you have that thing we were looking at earlier? And is it on? This thing here? Yeah. Well, it's already got a track. Copy that. But yeah. Add 311. <coughs> Theirs might not be as good, huh? Exactly. You got one too or not? Not yet. I gave you one. No, you didn't. Yes, you did. Yes, you, you mean today? Yeah. For me, for my health, for myself? Yeah. Oh. 
Well, we're not sure about, not yet yeah, tonight, but I assigned it to somebody else. But, but I think it's in your pocket. Or maybe it's in my pocket. Oh, I gave you that one. Here's the other one. Okay. I'll be sure glad when I'm done with these cherry balls. That's pretty cold. Squad 2776. 2776. Please drop me on 113. Call I got eyes on that car. Copy. Good Is this one on your phone? They're both on there. Okay. You should have them on yours too, but. Hey, 2163, I copy again. Check the area for love. What, what name is this on? Um, He's a robber friend. <coughs> That's hard to say. Twenty-seven fifty-six, code four, next bed. Uh, copy, code four with the vehicle occupied. That's three fourteen. Search <coughs> on that. I need four and a half one. It's only he's verified. It's no one's in it already. Twenty-seven fifty-six, copy. Right, copy. Three fourteen. So this car, this white one to the side here, is stolen. Either way, it's fine, but mute, mute that for a minute. This is a lot of. Triple two, go ahead. Cranium and race. 206, Tango Echo uniform. That's a lot of stolen Cranium. cars recovered today. Look at that. Can I hang on to this disc in here for a little bit? The magnet? Yeah. So Alex is going to tow the vehicle in.
unfortunately it doesn't look like the thieves trashed it too much from what I can see <coughs> oh it doesn't look too bad mm -mm. might actually be planning on using it again You need, you need, you need room or you're good? Don't worry about it. Hi. Gentlemen, how are you? Hey, Darren, how are you? Hey, Darren. Pat, how are you? Good, how are you? Doing good. Affirmative, how do you want the shots fired, sir? That'd be awesome. Thank you, sir. 119, I cleared it before. I got me. 117, I'll show you in a row. Where's 117 going to? Thank you. I like this web. Not bad little red. You sure you're good here? I'll hang out too. Oh yeah? You mind yeah. just in case something happens to him, you know? Yep, yeah, guaranteed. Thank you. Thanks, Darren. <laughs> See you, D. Thanks. Well, I think another 10 minutes we'll sign off. That'll be, yeah. what, seven hours? Six hours? Uh, seven. Seven hours. Full shift. Yep. Just like the good old days. With no sit-down lunch. Jerky on the run. I gotta get up to some of these. Vietnamese restaurants again. I used to love coming up here oh, to eat. This is a great. No bistro. Yeah. This is a great avenue for food. I've never been in there, but there's a, what I'm told is a great Cambodian restaurant right at Victoria right. University. Avenue. That's where all the great restaurants are. A lot of diversity in our town. Definitely. One of the many things that makes this town worth fighting for. Yeah, I used that phrase, you know, when I ran for mayor. Back in 1986. Town's worth fighting for. Ron Bacigalupo. You remember Ron? Mm -hmm. He helped me write some of my advertisements. Brilliant guy. Smoked like a chain smoker, but a brilliant guy. Triple two, checking your status. Actually, his son is a really nice kid. Cold War. Cold His former wife, Roxanne, I think still works downtown. But By the front doors for high blood pressure and an 82-year-old. The thing about Ron, I remember, I remember he did some great radio commercials about St. Paul's worth hey, fighting hey, for. But the funny part is it was far safer back then in 86. Mm -hmm. But sure there was, was a developing crime problem, you know, it was starting to develop. Of course, the gang problem wasn't really bad until the early 90s, but it, it was developing. But <coughs> what's, what's, what's funny about that, though, this is the, this is having worked in the field, and, and you know this, back then in 86, the problem we were seeing was with the behavior of 18 and 19 year olds. Some of them were into drugs, you know, because in the early 80s, you know, cocaine and crack cocaine started having their impact. 
But then um, in the 90s, when I was running for sheriff, it was the 15, 16, 17 year olds that were struggling. And every 10 years, it seems like the issues affecting our youth, it's affecting younger youth. Yeah. And so, um, this light never changes. I don't know what the deal with that. But nowadays, I mean, here we are. Think about where we're at. We've been, we're chasing 12 and 13 year old carjackers, you know, the last year or two. It's crazy. But <coughs> that's a strange deal. Like I said, 86, what is that? Of course, I lost the mayor's race. I've been on the city council, but I lost the mayor's race to a good person, Jim Scheibel. But crime was emerging as an issue then. No train coming right this thing. No, sir. Oh, might as light like doesn't change. So. But it's just been every campaign of, uh, as I've run over the years, we were talking about issues affecting kids that are younger and younger. We can't get any younger than we're at now, though, right? Nope. That's the good news, right? Well, hopefully. We can't be chasing eight-year-olds stealing cars. Well, we are going to wrap it up with a view of our beautiful capital here in St. Paul, Minnesota. <coughs> and thank you for for watching and enjoying uh, our company and we enjoy yours. And just remember in these comments as we go forward, just let's all Let's all be kind. We merged both pages, and there there are different people on different pages normally, so some of you backseaters that are normally on our page just have to make sure everyone understands that we're, uh, we're, it's a robust discussion, but a kind, robust discussion. Always the best and, way. And not judgmental about people that we run into in the course of our duties. Very true. Well, folks, I think it was an interesting night. Uh, to be honest, there was there was a lot of a lot going on, a lot of variety, and uh, I'm glad you were able to join us. We both appreciate you being with us, and do be kind. Have a good night, folks.